Hey nerds, Shane here. Just wanted to give a quick heads up before the episode that we had a minor technical failure while we were recording this one, so Rodney's mic did not get picked up. So for the episode, we've used the room mic for that, so if he sounds a little different, that's why. It's just the natural consequence of recording live that sometimes this stuff happens. Um, so I hope it doesn't hurt the immersive experience too much because I think this episode is really, really fun, and I'm really excited to share it with you. So without any further ado, I present to you the key to the universe. Hey nerds. Join us on Discord and hit that subscribe button. Hello, I'm Kane. Koken. Wilkes. Solana. Andre. And I'm your DM, Shane. Welcome to Venture Forth. We open in the early evening in midwinter on Bowworth Island, midway between the Freywood and Gambledeer. The steamship, the coattail of Ondale's Maritime Guild, piloted by the tabaxi handyman called Smoke Breather, safely docks at the rickety port of the island's namesake town, Bowworth. The sky is a pale gray, the temperature is cool, the air is humid and the smells around range from salt water of the sea to something more pungent and distasteful, a redolence of something savory and something rotten. Within the coattail are four adventurers, stirring from a restless slumber, awakening within their bedchambers, despite the odd hour. These four are on a special mission to uncover hidden secrets about the nature of the planner fissures opening up on the war front, and the nature of Elbor. Their somewhat reluctant leader, Wilkes, has more or less put together this team to locate the archaeologist Vator Styrik and pry from him whatever knowledge they can to assist in the closing or manipulation of the rents that have opened up. You all groggily gather on the main deck, becoming acquainted with your mundane surroundings. If you would all describe your characters, uh, Russ, if you want to start, <laughs> Wilkes. Ooh, oh, ooh. okay, hold on. <laughs> I wish I, I didn't I, think you were going to go for the middle. I thought you were going to go for the end. No one ever expects the middle. I here. Never let them know your next move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep, keep them on their toes, two steps ahead. Uh, yeah, so Wilkes is a uh, humanoid form, tan skin, uh, browns and, and, and blacks, uh, armor, leather armor with, uh, with cloak, everything kind of worn and kind of used. Um, and he's got like bark and moss kind of like protruding out of his skin. He's got a, a dark beard and like shoulder length hair that's kind of like pushed back into a knot on the back. And uh, along his skin, if you look closely, you can see little pieces of uh, moss and bark and, and sediment kind of just quickly moving around. Um, and within his hair, are like pieces of moss and like little twigs um, as he kind of like groggily kind of turns around in the bed. Oh, my back. How the hell? Where are we? Solana is a human woman. She's got dark brown skin. She's got like shoulder length, uh, very like chopped. It looks like it was kind of like a, a rough job. Um, very tired eyes. You can tell she probably used to have a really good skincare routine, but has since <laughs> fallen off of it. <laughs> um, a, a nice sort of s- s- nicer than you'd expect silk black button up shirt, light armor, um, and a very, uh, very pretty wedding ring or engagement ring. Yeah. Um, Wilkes, did we... Do, did you put something in the food? Or did we drink too much last night? Did or, I dream that? I don't... I'm not... But what did you dream? Because if we had the same dream, that's very spooky. I don't remember. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> and that's okay. Solana. Um, so, yeah, coming up, uh, or sort of rising, is a um, uh, human male. Um, a little bit of a... little bit of, like, half-elf, maybe, heritage in the, in the point of your ears. Oh. Um... Uh, sort of pale skin, uh, immaculately uh, sort of shaved and, and groomed beard, um, going into like short, dark black hair that is also very immaculately done. Um, he's wearing like, I guess we're just getting out of bed. So he sort of sits up and walks over towards a suit of graphite gray plate mail that he begins putting on. Um, he's about six foot one or so, about maybe 190, 200 pounds, pretty like 
pretty average build, I suppose, for someone that tall. Um, he, on his uh, on his left hand, bears a, a, like a silver signet ring that um, has a, a picture of a raven perched above, like a, on a crescent moon over a city skyline. And he, um, on his on his neck, is a very small silver medallion that holds a uh, like a, a very simple symbol, and it is a crescent moon eclipsing a sun. Um, yeah, he has uh, these sort of like. Uh, amber like honey amber eyes um that uh yeah and he's when he's not moving he appears to be very still and calm um as i get up um i also had a strange dream if a dream it was Colkin. <clears throat> yeah and what do we see when yeah. Culkin oh. stares? <laughs> <laughs> starting to, uh, you all see like the color finally starting to return uh, as, oh, as yeah, the guy. palest goblin you've ever seen is, for this entire journey is starting to get uh, shades of green, uh, dark green and grays um, back to the, to the skin. Um, a patchwork vest that is very well kept but but um sewn together um locks that are very messy right now uh they're not kept in any way uh just trying to survive the the trip and a um a, a skin working a cross hatching of of like raised bumps on the skin starting in like the, the neck going down the torso the vest is open just some basic shorts and down the arms and and very notably um a necklace that has at the center of it a gnarly tooth or piece of carapace of some creature, some large creature. Uh, and and, and uh, unlike my friend here, uh, <laughs> I'm barely three feet tall. <laughs> not, not intimidating. Skin and bones. You'll, you'll die. Uh, <laughs> sinew uh, really spotty. Uh, and uh, getting up with my bucket. Oh. <laughs> uh, where are we? I'm not sure. Um, I will uh, actually like immediately. I'll start crossing the room and see if I can go find Smoker. Okay. If you um, you would go up onto the main deck, mm -hmm. uh, and you would see that uh, Smoke Breather is out uh, uh, holding the. He would he would respond to Smoker. Okay. Cool. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right, I think yeah. Any right. very Smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You see as as you go up onto the main deck, you see. Uh, who you know to be a smoke breather, a tabaxi, mm -hmm. uh, sort of, uh, if it's how, I, I don't know how easy it is to tell how old a tabaxi is, but middle-aged, yeah. <laughs> uh, sort of gray with black stripes, uh, wearing his, his goggles mm -hmm. uh, with a rebreather uh, hung around his neck mm -hmm. uh, and just like an absurd tool belt full of uh, tools that you recognize and tools that make no sense how they would ever be applied. <laughs> uh, Perfect. And, uh, and just wearing a, a leather jerkin and uh, normal clothing otherwise uh -huh. uh, is, is there. Uh, he is standing there at the helm, but he is dispossessed of any sort of intent. He looks kind of, uh, he doesn't look like asleep or uh, mm -hmm. like magically stupefied, right. but he appears dazed. <sighs> Captain. Smoke, did you? And I will look up at the sky. Yeah. Does everything look normal to me? It does. Smoke, do you recall seeing anything strange? Uh, uh, well, well, I had a, a, a dream, Captain, I think. But when I came to, I was just out here on the deck. And then we, to be honest, I... I don't know if I moored us or not. Yeah, I'll look around, and we're we're moored, right? You're we're moored, like docked. You're docked, and you look you look around, and you see the dock is not uh, uh, well kept. It is a rickety, gnarly dock. Uh, it leads up. It is a. It's fairly far out uh, into the water, and you also see. Uh, also docked here are a number of boats, a number of uh, smaller craft, some uh, slightly larger. Nothing that's uh, like a, a full ship, so mm -hmm. to speak, uh, but a bunch of small craft that are all in relative disrepair mm -hmm. seem to have been here for a long time. Um, and you see uh, just up the dock where it meets the, the soil, uh, there is a, uh, a sign, mm -hmm. a wooden uh, signpost uh, where there is this sort of like copper um, 
sign that's hanging from a single chain. Mm -hmm. One of the chains has has fallen, but you do see uh, it's uh, got the uh, the uh, visage of a sort of pompous looking individual emblazoned on the front. It says, welcome to Bowworth. Welcome to the New East. Um, and that is that is sort of what you see as you look around. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I, um, I was here and I, I just made sure that everything was fine, but it does, does seem fine, Kevin. Peculiar. All right. Um, I'll get the others and I'll head back down. And, mm -hmm. um, when I get there, we're, we're docked. And Smoke also recalls having a strange dream. I didn't... Do you all recall seeing a woman? Yes. A rather large one? Striking. Quite big, yes. Yes. Um, could we get off this thing? <laughs> I immediately... <laughs> 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 uh -huh. okay. Of course, Corkin. I know you've longed for land. <laughs> is it common for your folk to get seasick, or is that just a you thing? Don't know. Hmm. Never done that before. Not common where I'm from. Hmm. Landlocked? Yeah, the waste. It's quite a big day for you then, isn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> right, yeah. <laughs> and you all uh, make your way up. Yeah, I'll grab my stuff. Yeah, same, grab all of our same items. things. Yeah, you gather Welcome. your belongings. Yeah, and as you, as you step out, you see those same things. You also see uh, that there is a, a town here. It doesn't appear to have become the thing it was intended to be. Mm -hmm. There are a number of, of half-made structures, um, sort of scaffolding that looks to be uh, built in order to make even bigger structures. Those are not complete. Though you do see um, there are some relatively well-kept houses. Uh, and as the, the light is slowly fading, it's, it's sort of uh, mid-afternoon, um, you do see that there are some lights in some of these houses and some of the better kept ones. Um, but that is the uh, town of Bowworth as mm. you step out into it. Um, Andra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, your clothes are sopping wet and you are caked in sand. As you stir, you cough up salt water. And you find, as you wrestle with some discomfort, that you are being partly carried, partly dragged through the sand by one man and one woman. Both are human. The man is average height, dark hair, youngish, but scraggly and unwashed. Uh, he wears clothes that don't appear to uh, fit him at all. Um, a baggy gray shirt and a leather jerkin that hang on him like windless sails. The woman carrying your feet, sort of, <laughs> not, not so, uh, 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 sturdily, uh, is older. Uh, she has whitening uh, blondish hair uh, and a dark orange shirt and a green gray skirt that snags clumsily on her boots. Um, as you're spitting up the salt water, they don't seem to notice that you've stirred, um, though you do overhear them speaking. You said there's a fresh chamber for this one, says the woman. Yes, uh, old Shelley ascended last night and ran off. I was hoping she'd take me, but I think she was scared. Oh, hey, that's exciting. This is what you hear. <laughs> oh, <bits. coughs> All right. Excuse me. Oh, and they drop you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you scared me. <laughs> it's okay. It's completely fine. Don't worry about you, it. You see this man's face upside down as he's sort of looking over you from where he dropped you. Take a moment, just... <sighs> some of the curls that have fallen into my face. Um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to, and I begin to rapidly press the digitation myself, clean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks up at the woman. She's magic, she is. Hello. Hello. Um, pardon me. Um, <laughs> where am I? <laughs> oh, you've come to the great land of Bowworth. I think you ought to be ascended. Ascend so great, I've surely heard of it. We have a fresh chamber for you. Ascended, um, could you elaborate just a little bit? Hmm. Well, it's very hard to explain, but I think when it happens, you're going to feel real good about it. Wow, how eloquently put and very specific. Um, 
Well, could you perhaps, um, do you know what this ascendance uh, entails, perhaps? Well, um, we put you in the chamber, put the lid over you, and then um, we wait. Wow, that sounds absolutely, that sounds like a lovely excursion. However, I am ever so busy, and I actually have to... Andra, uh, give me... Oh, there we go. Passive perception. Okay, not good. Uh, 12. Okay. <laughs> 12. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Um, don't love that face. I don't love this. <laughs> It'll be fine. Well, oh, uh, fortunately... Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> What's your armor class? What? Uh, 16. Hey, you know. Yeah, you... <laughs> uh, you feel uh, 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 the unmistakable uh, impact of a, a piece of wet wood on the back of your head. Oh. Oh. This, oh. Shield, can I shield? Has, oh, you shield? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, but Wait. can you? Is it surprise? It's a surprise. It's surprise, uh, yeah. Because she was hidden. Because she, because I, ro- uh, I, I rolled a stealth check for her, so she was hidden. Okay, that's okay. Uh, okay. I'll, okay. Take, I'll, take a, yep. I'll take a boot to the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the rock. story. Yeah. I mean, oh, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. It's not, you know, this is a, she's just a lady. <laughs> Immediately dead. <laughs> she's just, just a lady. lady. She's just a lady. She's just an old Your girl. Honor, she's just a girl. She's just a woman. Just a girl. You take four bludgeoning damage. She's a woman. Uh... Uh, as uh, <laughs> uh, as this woman <laughs> hits you with a as this woman yells, if you reject your own ascension, then you must submit to be consumed. Oh, there and we go. We will cut back to the rest of our adventurers. Oh my god! <laughs> and we give it up. What the? Uh, Welcome to Bowers. And you guys walk Bowers to yeah, town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you do. There is a clear, straight path. Uh, through through the town, it, it appears to be sort of a, a frontier town. It was built to be uh, easy, easily navigable. Okay. Um, uh, and you walk along, and some of these houses are in disrepair, and some of them are okay. And you do see uh, one or two um, people like sitting on their on their porches, and they don't they don't say anything to you, but they do kind of eye you mm. as you pass. They um, uh, there's a particularly uh, scuzzy, grouchy-looking older fellow uh, who's chewing on a piece of jerky, who just watches you with uh, an intensity. Mm. Um, you do also notice that there is an abnormal amount of barrels full of weaponry. There are there are rusted swords and rapiers in these barrels kind of distributed around, and in a lot of the uh, wooden posts sticking up out of the ground are a number of um, you know, knives, daggers, all kinds of sharp implements sort of like stabbed into them, things that are just hanging uh, as though ready to be um, uh, employed. All right, well. Um, yeah. <laughs> that is what you see as you're walking. Bit heavy-handed, isn't it? How very hospitable. Uh, Wilkes, um, well, considering you're the leader of this little expedition, any idea where we're meant to go? Uh. Do we have a contact? Yeah, the contact is, uh, is Vader. It's a wizard of the sorts. Um, I, I don't... He's on this island. We just have to find out where. Uh, I assume we'd ask some of the folk, but they don't seem too kind here. The jerky one. Yes. He seems interesting. Interesting's a way to put it, yes. <clears throat> if Solana? you don't mind, Solana. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Always better than me in this. Mm. I'm gonna approach the uh, the jerky gentleman. <laughs> jerky, <man. laughs> old jerky. <laughs> Greetings. How 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 fares you this day? Mm, I'm Solana. What's your name? Well. Hmm. Pleasure to meet you. Mm. Um. I'm. Curious. Uh, is there perhaps a man by the name of Veta Steric in the area? Traveler. No, no. All right. Anybody who's a recent addition to your fine community? Hmm. Hmm. I'll wait. I don't want to talk to Talia. Talia. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Where might we find this Talia? And he sort of nods up mm. uh, up the road. You do see there's a, a slightly bigger building. Mm-hmm. Um, 
it uh, it is completed, though. It, um, p- pieces of it are very unfinished. Mm. Um, but it, it, it's sort of it's probably the largest building mm-hmm. um, that you would see, and and it um, it sits sort of in the corner of what appears to be uh, what what might have been considered a town square hmm. someday mm. <laughs> in the process of hmm. creating this place. Hmm. Okay. Um, thank you very much for that. Um, do you have any seasoning that goes with uh, meat of that sort? No. This is a wonderful opportunity. And I'm going to take a little bag out and I have a little bandolier of spices that I keep with hey. me. Um, this, the, do you like spicy? Are you more salt sort of thing? You can take your pick if you'd like. He reaches out. And Add a little extra zest. If, if you mm-hmm. yeah. let him, he'll take both. He'll okay, just, great, yeah. He'll just, he'll just fully palm yep. That's everything. That's totally fine. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you have a wonderful day, sir. And I do a little bow. All right, we have to find a Talia. Expertly done, Thank as you. usual. Thank you. Um, Talia, did, did he say where? I believe up that way, yes. All right, well. Did a lot of gesturing. <laughs> Man, a few words. Preoccupied. Mysterious. Um, as I said, how hospitable. Um, DM, as per well, as this is happening, mm-hmm. I just wanna I just wanna look around. Are there any like the weapons are weird. Are there any signs of violence? Like is there yeah. blood anywhere? Are there any like heads on spikes? Yeah. Are there any yeah, something like that? There are no know? heads on spikes. Make a percentage. Hands on spikes. Check. Okay. I have advantage on these because of my thing. Uh, that's an 18. Crazy go nuts. Yeah, your uh, perception is bonkers. It's pretty high. <laughs> it's bonkers. 18. Ooh. You said signs of violence. Yeah. Takes the like, have any of these off. weapons been used recently? Any crusted blood on any of mm. them? Um, hmm. Interesting. Uh, you would see there are vacancies in some of these, like places, if you were to look where the daggers have been stabbed, there are places where there are no longer, mm-hmm. where there are no longer weaponry. Mm. There is definitely signs of like very old uh, uh, blood on, mm. on some of these weapons. The, none of these weapons have been well kept. You don't see a blacksmith anywhere. Right. Um, uh, uh, there is the odd fresh one though, like fairly new looking um, uh, weapon. Oh. Um, and uh, you would see telltale uh, stains of blood, um, not everywhere, but uh, on uh, like one of the stoops that you've passed. You probably would would be able to. You'd be able to smell it. Right. Cane wood. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll turn to that group. Mm-hmm. Eyes on a swivel. Um, something tells me this. I don't know. I have a bad feeling. Hostility. Yes. Yeah, it seems half made. Mm. <laughs> At best. <laughs> Do you think portals open up here a little bit often? Possibly. Yeah. Is it hard to find like dirt? No. You're walking through mud. <laughs> All right. The opposite. <laughs> Is it Quite hard? easy to find dirt. <laughs> you are you you are like a foot deep in dirt. <laughs> so I I, I as, as you're saying this, like I am rubbing it in my hands and my arms mm. and like grill my face and say, oh, so so nice. Huh? <clears throat> Tolkien, what are you doing? Well, oh, he's that? communing with nature, I believe. No, I'm just oh. thankful. Uh, oh. oh what, wow. What's that? <clears throat> what, what are we looking for here? Yeah. Um, what's that? I believe we're looking for a woman named Talia, and mm-hmm. she went that way. That way. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, all right. I'll uh, I'll reach down. I'll pick up some of the dirt and I'll rub it in my hands and like look at Vulcan. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What the fuck did he just do? <laughs> uh, do yeah, I don't, I'll just you, look at him. I'll, roll I'll, I'm gonna try and suss out. Like, uh, I'm just gonna look at him and see what he's doing. He just covered himself in dirt. <laughs> I mean, I did nothing. So you just, you just um, like death. Yeah, I just. All right. You don't. You don't like that. No, I'm just curious. You're very curious. Your skin. Curious being. <laughs> So you Open. don't like water, but you do like death. I like to drink water. I don't like to be in water. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, is this a thing because you're on the boat so long now? It's kind of like you're putting the dirt on your face. Right. Mm. Yeah, that. And you feel better? Lo- lo- loads. Okay. Loads better. Mm. Well, Unders- that's good. Understood. I'm going to take a little jar uh, out of my bag and I'm just going to like put a little bit in a jar. Like, <laughs> this is important information for later. The, uh, 
<laughs> I'll just uh, at that. I'll take the dirt that is in my hands and I'll just kind of wipe it on Culkin's uh, robes. <laughs> I'm helping. Trust me, I'm helping. Maybe less help. I think it's just for the skin, not for the clothes. Right. Let's keep moving then. Uh, <laughs> I have so many questions, Culkin. I cannot wait for us to make camp later. I just, I would like to learn as much about you as I possibly can. Yeah, you weren't very talkative on the ship. You were. He was. He was throwing up in the bucket. Yeah, m- mainly throw up. Largely preoccupied. Yes. Haunts my dreams, to be honest. Mm-hmm. You're quite loud the for smell. someone so small. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. We don't have much food on the ship. Like I don't know how you kept throwing up that much. I don't. I don't know either. <laughs> Strive even I'm most actually, of it. I'm, I'm actually very hungry. So <laughs> right. Oh, well, maybe we yeah. should start something like that <laughs> first before we head in. Or well, let's find Talia first, and then we. I'll can... find. I'll find food as we as we move. All right. Well, let's get moving then. Uh, I'm going to cut back to Andra. <laughs> so you you have now, you have been struck with a piece of wood, and this woman has shrieked this at you, uh, that if you would not submit to being to ascending, then you must uh, be consumed. Uh, and she you do. has Naturally. struck you. Uh, well, what, what are you going to do? I'm going to just toss it to you. What would you like that to do? That was incredibly rude. Um, <laughs> do I see any settlements nearby? Uh, you do. Past the shoulder of this young man, uh, you do see... The uh, a, a um, what appears to be a frontier town, a uh, sort of half constructed, half in disrepair uh, place of. A, I mean, it looks grimy, but you do see some lights lit uh, in the distance. Well, that's absolutely wonderful. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to misty step. Okay. Thirty okay. feet in the direction of the town and promptly go invisible. Oh, oh snap! Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Not so. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Terribly sorry. I will not be participating. I hope you have loads of fun. Goodbye. Um, as as you, yeah, do you say this out yes. loud to the man? <laughs> uh, the 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 man looks mystified. He like does one of these. He like re- reaches out to grab you where you where you were a moment ago. Uh, and then he looks up at the woman. What did you do? And, hey, and she like starts to flail around trying to find you. And the two of them. Uh, you know, depending on your perspective, quite comically, begin to scour the sand for your disappearance. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> okay. Do um, and you do, and you um, you start to uh, you make your way into uh, you wouldn't necessarily know this, but into the town of Beauworth. Uh, you are sort of coming in the, from the um, eastern side of the town. Um, uh, there's a sort of small pathway between some of these buildings. One of them to your left is in completely uh, uh, caved in, and uh, the other one is like a small shack. Um, it looks maybe like a, a, a chicken coop, but it is, has not um, had chickens in it for some time. Mm, quite. Um, I'm going to cut back to, to the rest of the group. It's right. just coop. <laughs> just, no, chicken. no chicken. Just no chicken, coop. only coop. <laughs> no chicken, just coop. Just coop. <laughs> um... Uh, as you all make your way into the center of town, uh, which uh, adjacent to uh, this place that uh, you've been told uh, where you might find Talia, um, you find uh, that there is a, a well that has been completely filled in with dirt. Uh, but hmm. more curiously, uh, there are three stone, what would be pretty uh, easily identifiable as stone coffins. Um, they have, uh, they're well made, they're, they're, they have a sort of um, simplistic but beautiful design, uh, but they are very, very old. Um, uh, one of them has is open, um, and uh, you see to your right the um, uh, what what might have been at some time. Well, it it could be still uh, an inn. Uh, you see uh, Mercy's respite uh, in. Uh, pretty shoddy, shoddy lettering uh, on the top of the, the building. Um, Do we see, um, you said there was one, uh, you said there's three coffins on the well? Yeah. Or um, there, yeah, yeah. Do we see, I don't know how high uh, they are, but do I, can I like, as we're walking by, I'll just like see if I can see inside the, the open one? Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, as you, I want to be walking around, like kind of looking at that, but I'm I'm looking for bugs. Are there any bugs? Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> Making investigation or survival? Make a survival. Survival feels good. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I'll just take a clo- glance at them. I, I want to also, like, if there's any details on them, any scripture, any um, symbols uh, on the stone, or is it just straight slat or whatever? And then if there's anything inside. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. For sure. 
<laughs> Ooh. We were on Wilkes like today. Yeah. Um, a total of 19. 19? Okay. Um, hmm. You see, it's really, really eroded, but huh. there is something that is like, um, something that sort of fans out. It's, it's, uh, that's, that's all the detail that you can really make out is there's like, um, sort of like a, a short line and then a sort of like fan upwards that's at the top of uh-huh. this design. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then if I could add on to that, I can wait after his, but I just want to know, I want to know if in my travels, I have ever heard anything about this island, this town, cause it's half constructed. There's knives and stuff sticking out. Did I ever hear any anything, especially when my um, prep to get ready for this event, this mm-hmm. uh, this mission? Mm-hmm. Um, what did I hear about this place? Yeah. Um, first off, I want to I want to your investigation check yielded some other things. As oh, well. perfect, great. Um, uh, you do see in the open coffin uh, there is a uh, a blue um, robe um, that is dark, uh, and uh, there appears to. Hmm, I guess that's all you would see. You would see there's a blue robe. Um, it is, uh, upon further inspection, as you kind of like pick it up and look at it, it has okay. dark stains of blood mm-hmm. throughout. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but it does, you feel some weight to it as you pick it up. Mm-hmm. Um, as though there might be something in the pocket. Um, of the, then, so you said rope? Of the robe. Oh, robe. The okay. ro- Sorry. The robe. Robe. Okay. robe. Okay. Of the robe? Yeah, then yes. I'm picking it up. And if, if it seems like there's no one around like trying to stop me, I'll, I'll continue to investigate. And I'll like go in the pocket and I'll see what's what's going on in here. Within the pocket, uh, you find oh, um, no. a uh, scroll uh-huh. of dispel magic. Okay. And uh, a pretty um, well-kept uh, golden locket. Okay. Um, and you uh, you open up the clasp. Uh, it's it's got a little clasp on it, uh, and there is a beautiful rendering of Queen Isolde of Stillgate. Huh? Would I know who that is? Yeah, yeah. She's the queen. Huh? Have you not read the the, the pamphlets, the, <laughs> the gossip magazine? I don't get out much. Oh, I guess it's the opposite. I do Her get out much. I don't get they in. They change much. every <laughs> <That's right>. season. <laughs> they don't talk much about. Queen, uh, t- take a look at this though, mm-hmm. and I'll I'll go to Solana and I'll hand mm-hmm. the yes. um, well made first of all. But what else? I mean, this scroll. I mean, I don't have much Solana? use of it. I don't think. But mm-hmm. when you see this locket, mm. you are reminded distinctly of a friend from your school days. Oh, wait, so there's there's one is Queen and one someone else. Is that what's going on? Oh no, no. It's, I think the locket itself is oh, very familiar what? to okay, me. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, this person's name is Phoebe, F-O-B-I, Silt Sleeper. <laughs> and you remember them to be uh, uh, a young halfling gentleman uh, who was very much uh, a close friend of your husband's. Uh, but you haven't seen this person in maybe half a decade. <sighs> But this is there was a sort of inside joke that Phoebe was going to marry the queen someday, and so Phoebe kept this locket on him, <laughs> and Phoebe would use this as his um, arcane focus. Correct. First of all, oh. adorable. And also, <laughs> how dare you? Second of all, did you say there was blood on the robes or something? Oh yeah. When you say time, this, like time, this particular. Oh goodness. What? Why are you staring at it? It's just a picture of the queen. Not nod to him. To who? I think this may have belonged to a friend of mine. Um, I, I'll go into the... I'll look, there's nothing else in the coffin. That's that's the entirety of its contents. Solana, who did it belong to? Well, his, his name was Phoebe. He was just a sweet, a sweet friend from my school days, but he was a spellcaster, and well, he said he was always going to marry the queen someday. It was very adorable, but also, no, he couldn't. There's no way, but... <sighs> it's just man harsh <laughs> it's the queen have you seen her anyway um yeah, statue is hey but you know you have to you have to keep hope alive you just yes you're gonna get there one day but anyway i just i think this i think he may have come here well if this is his robe as well i don't think he fared very well um is that new arrivals i see I mean, can I pocket the stuff? Ooh. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll uh, I'll I'll put the robe back in. The, if I hear a voice, I'll put the robe back in the coffin. I want to slide a hand check that robe though. 
I want. Oh, I want, you want it. Yeah, oh, I want it. Yeah, it's my, oh. for my I'll birthday. Say, I'll say you're so able to put it in your. I think I'm just gonna pop you have it very a, quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah I have a, a pack. Yeah. Yeah, you're able. To, you're able okay. to do that without any self checks. And uh, I had a 14 on my on your buck check. On my buck check. Buck check. On my survival buck check. Oh yeah. Okay, so so as you guys are doing this, Culkin just. Oh, that's right. You made a roll of like behind you. But like on all fours, <laughs> just like kind of combing through the mud, right? Amazing. And and you do find you find a number of uh, do night crawlers grow in or do they do they live in places? Uh, they, yeah, oh, with uh, mud. Yeah, yeah, I think they just, would come up. Yeah. yeah, you find yeah a ton, a ton. <laughs> uh, and also like maggots. Ooh. Uh, mm. Yeah, you're able to turn up some stuff on underneath stones and yeah. Oh, perfect. Plants. So I come Larva. back to the group and I've got. Um, Kind of just like a, a, a flat piece of wood that I found, and just on it, um, <laughs> oh, a plate. Uh, Mimo, Mimo calls these plates. Uh, Nightcrawler, maggot. Uh, they taste much better here than they do in the waste. <laughs> oh yeah, these just, things are these things are plump. Oh, they're so juicy. Much better. I take out a little notebook and I'm just writing this. Oh, down. Yeah, <laughs> and anyone. I appreciate the offer, but um, I'm not Wilt. hungry. No. High <laughs> protein. I'll try one. Yeah. Which one's better? Um, the first time. Mm-hmm. Recommend the night crawler. Mm, I take out my little spice thing and I just. <laughs> What's that? Oh, this is paprika. <laughs> Would you like some? Paprika. I've heard of it. I've never. Try a little sprinkle, just a pinch. Uh, all right. You know, there's a kick at the end that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Is that the protein? It's all protein. Mm. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Just writing this all down. Oh, I, feel, I feel much better. So oh, what wonderful. are we doing here? So yeah, yeah. so as yeah. <laughs> this is all played out, you do hear, are those new arrivals I see? And this uh, woman has emerged from uh, the inn. Uh, you uh, presume this to be Talia. Mm-hmm. She appears very well put together. Uh, she has a pale blue dress and a matching waistcoat over a poet shirt with a cravat. Uh, that is, it's fairly clean. Uh, in contrast, uh, she does have very crude short hair, kind of uh, almost in the mm-hmm. same style as Solana's. It, it looks as though she gathered it up and cut it with a knife. Uh, above it, above this this hair, uh, she does wear a, a headband festooned with these uh, enormous, almost bioluminescent bright red flowers uh they are uh anemone flowers they're they're very wide and um uh the petals are like spread out sideways oh, I, don't, I don't know how else to, it's, for to Wilkes. <laughs> yes <laughs> uh she has simple features she's sort of late 30s she's got a round face big brown eyes and a, a mole next to her dimple um but but looks very presentable uh, as she greets you mm. Hello, uh, wh- what can I do for you? You must be Talia, I presume. Yes. I am. Solana, Peregrine, pleasure Solana, to meet you. Solana, and she, uh, mm-hmm. she takes your hand. Yeah, I do a little formal shake. And, and you find that she's able to sort of meet you in that respect. Yeah. God, she's got manners. Mm, <laughs> fascinating. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we are looking for somebody named Veta Styric, uh, and we were told that perhaps you might know where to find him. The scientist. Yes. 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 I see. Um, yes. Uh, you will find him, um, and she sort of looks up and sort of around the corner of one of the buildings here. You see that there's a path. Um, calling it a path is a little, giving it a little too much credit, Mm -hmm. but, um, a, a sort of uh, uh, a path made by people walking on it, Mm -hmm. uh, that goes up into the wooded area of this island. Um, and, uh, and she says, um, I've only been there a few times, but uh, you'll find him at the dig site up north. Ah, oh, he doesn't live there, presumably. Does he live somewhere in town? No, he lives there. Um, yeah. I assume I, I, I've never been inside his house. Mm. Mm. I've just seen him out. Hmm. And pardon my uh, wondering, are you, you strike me as a traveler. Are you settled here? Um, yes, yes. Where do you hail from? Uh, I moved here from Hartgard uh, some 20 years ago. Hartgard? Uh, would I have ever heard of that before? Um, yes, yeah, you know it to be uh, a, a town on the east. Um, I believe I believe it's in Gandaldir. 
um, sort of the, the northeast side of Gamble Deer. Um, fairly uh, normal uh, sort of coastal town. Mm. Um, uh, there, it wouldn't strike your memory as anything odd. Mm. What brought you all the way out here? Oh, well, uh, I've always wanted to open an inn. And um, uh, Mr. Beauworth had such a, a, a tantalizing offer uh, for uh, new settlers. And so um, my wife and I uh, came out here. And Fabulous. We are actually in the business of seeking lodging as well. Is there perhaps any vacancies at your inn? There are, yes. Wonderful. Um, th- there is a moment of like... How to describe it? Yeah, uh, non plusedness uh, hmm. in her eyes. Just a just a tiny moment of of surprise, I guess. Hmm. Um, um, yes, um, I can I can attend to your lodgings. Uh, can I get you something to eat? Yes, uh, yes, absolutely. Um, you know, we are just going to go visit with our, our friend Veta. We've had quite a long trip over the ocean. My companion over here is seeking um, any sustenance he can. But we will be over at the inn very shortly after we visit our friend. Thank you. How far away is the dig site? Um, traveling. Hmm, about uh, about a day's travel. A day's travel. Well, that changes things. That does indeed that change our plans. Things. Yes, that changes our plans um, quite. As this is happening, uh, Andre, you uh, are able to make your way. You come upon a scene mm-hmm. where you see uh, a, a covered-up well, a series of three stone coffins, uh, one with the lid off, and uh, four. Uh, very disparate looking adventurers uh, of, of vastly different shapes and sizes uh, and this this woman in her blue waistcoat and dress. Do I recognize them from any dr- Okay. You do? <laughs> Beeline. Immediately. Still invisible, right? Still invisible. Fantastic. Right. Mm, which one did I talk to? I'm going to... Mm, we spoke quite a bit. We spoke quite a bit. <laughs> I'm going to um, sidle up next to the woman presumably wearing armor. Mm-hmm. Okay. While still invisible. Hello. <sighs> all right. Hello. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. I just, sometimes I just talk to myself sometimes. It's a bit of a self-soothing I see. mechanism. Um, I'll, I'll tend to your, to getting your uh, accommodations set up and um, feel free to come by. That would be fabulous. We, knowing that it's a day's travel, we may be headed that direction quite shortly. Mm-hmm. We'll catch up. Um, All right. Thank you. And she, she does a little, like, curtsy. In, in <laughs> I curtsy to, back, yeah. yeah. DM. Yeah. When Andreal gets close to us, yeah. I look right at you. <laughs> like, I make eye contact what? with you. Yeah, yeah he does. <laughs> DM. Uh, look at you. Hey, you can are... see her, can't you? See who? There's someone here with us. Look at you. You grew up. Where? And you got smaller. Inside, inside, and uh, oh, I'll just what? like <laughs> temper the conver- try to like squash the conversation because uh, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird being out here. Um, Shall we? I uh, presume you are friendly. Yes, um, unless you're going to um, bludgeon me with driftwood. Goodness, you're the no. one hiding from us. Well, yes, I'm hiding because I was bludgeoned, bludgeoned with, with driftwood, driftwood, presumably. Yes. Yes. <coughs> who, are, who are you? Yes, uh, I believe oh. I did introduce myself previously. Why don't we go inside? I can well, only... we can't. You can see. Is it the woman from it's, the dream? It is. Her voice sounded familiar, but how big is she? Normal size. Now. Normal size. Five foot eight. I don't know what you want me to say. Well, last time you we met you, we were quite. Yes, yeah, you were the quite. Person from the mm-hmm. from our collective hallucination. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem Apparently like it was, was much not. of a hallucination. Oh, no. Perhaps we take this conversation not. inside. It's and me, the, the voice of your conscience. Oh. I put an arm over what I presume <laughs> is Talking, give me one of those where you would be. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna put my arm over you and it's like, well, regardless, we all need lodging, and I presume you must be as exhausted as the rest of us. So shall we? Please. Wonderful. And you don't look. Like, uh, you're 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 all clean, right? You don't look all. I I have pressed to yeah. myself clean. <laughs> you're not all soaking wet and sandy. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 Um. <sighs> quite the, quite the docking. Yeah. Good afternoon. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. I walk in the uh inn. I guess. Yes. We'll head to the yeah. inn. Yes. Kane. Uh. Yeah. As you, you uh, as everybody begins to make their way in, I think does anybody else have 
a passive perception above 18. Oh, wait, um, I did a check, I did a check <laughs> on the city to see, how, like, if, I, if Wilkes have heard about it when his, yeah. his discussions and, like, trying to figure out, like, what yeah, the place um, was. Yeah, I guess do a history check. Sure, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> above 18, no. Okay. No. Okay. No. Because yeah, you have a 20 passive, right? Mm-hmm. Crazy good nuts. Um, yeah, yeah as, begin- as people begin to make their way inside, you do just barely, barely hear this scratching sound. Okay. I hold the door open for everyone, uh, specifically so that Andrell can go in last, but it just looks like I'm coming in last. <laughs> Do I hear where it's coming from? As you focus your senses, um, it appears to be coming from the middle coffin in the three of these. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. I oh, no, we headed. Yeah. You guys are, yeah. You yeah, guys as are everybody heads up, I'll stop as I hear it, and I just, like, turn and look over my shoulder. Hmm. Kane, are you coming? Yes, and I'll go inside. <gasps> You're not gonna. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you make your way inside. Uh, it is. Uh, it is lit uh, pretty pretty nicely, but other than that, the uh, uh, stylings of this place are, let's say, rustic. Uh, there there are. Um, only a few tables that seem to be like usable, and you do notice there is practically no alcohol on the shelves where you would normally expect to see alcohol. There's like mm. three bottles mm. of something. This town is actively trying to have a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> um, the second we're inside, invisibility drops. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. There, what, there is someone there. Oh. Um, Hello. You look familiar. I would hope I would. You do as well. But that wasn't real, so I'm confused. <laughs> she was a bit paler before. Yes, quite sickly. Less dirt. Yes, more dirt now. Glad to see you separated from your bucket. Me? Yes. Yeah, me too. Right. Shall we get a table? I would love to discuss whatever is happening yeah, here. You said yes. getting bludgeoned with something? I did. I, get, I got quite bludgeoned on the back of my head because, I don't know, it seems oddly ritualistic and not in any kind of fun way. Sometimes these things can be fun. It's not. I think I instinctively put a hand on the back of your head. Are you in, in need of any assistance? Oh, no, I don't think... Can I feel like damage. a bump? Four damage. Four mm-hmm. damage. So there would be a, a mark there. Yeah. yeah. I think as I, some, I a little there, bump. Yeah. 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 I feel Stand. a little bump, and I think I'm gonna uh, give you a little cure wounds. Yeah. Hey, let's go. All right. Okay. What does it look like when you do? Oh. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's these little purple and green wisps. It's actually two wisps. It's a purple wisp and a green wisp. And one is a little butterfly and one is a little caterpillar. Ooh. And they, they flit up and do a little kind of uh, coming trip. together and yeah, <laughs> coming together <laughs> and going apart. And then they, they land on the little bump and they give it a little kiss. And then your bump goes away. Sweet. Well, that was awfully sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, not a problem at all. If you need any assistance at all, let me know. Of course. Absolutely. It's dangerous right. out here. As we as we start to sit down, I actually take the rest of the bugs that I have and I put them in my hands. And I say, um, dust, wind, bring me nourishment. And mm. I open my hands and I have um, berries. <gasps> uh, Ooh. Ten of them. And Ooh. Uh, I look around and yeah, uh, take uh, one and one, one, one. If uh, <clears throat> you get hurt or if you find yourself hungry, this should... Um, for the rest of the day, you should not be hungry. Fascinating. I'm going to write this down, too. Yeah. That's a neat well, why, little trick. Mm-hmm. Why did you give us the bug, then? Oh, because they're just, I mean, it's a delicacy well, from it's a, a new land. It's a treat. So I had to try it. I'm so grateful that the crew gave me you for our mission. <laughs> I will eat the, the berry. You, should, you will be grateful. I'm, I'm a strong warrior. Look at me. Definitely, yep. yep Stronger yep. by the minute, I will say. Don't encourage him. So you were all not normally um, together, I presume. We well, sort of hide. I'm gonna start pulling chairs out, and I, I beckon for you to sit. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Of course. And they say chivalry is dead. My goodness. Well, sometimes you have to be your own gentleman in these lives. <laughs> well, here. And as I said, I'm going to pull your chair. Out. Ah! <laughs> and then I will turn and pull 
your chair. <laughs> I'll working. pull my own chair. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the customs. Like, yeah. oh, so roll. Um, they can be told. Yeah. They can be. Colkin, Colkin, just sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Me to... No, I'm already. I'm all good. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Colkin. You. Right. I will return the favor. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Yeah, bow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will, uh, we bow. <laughs> I will eat my berry and I will pull out my. I, I'm assuming I have like a map of the area mm -hmm. or um, any type of like written down kind of ideas. Yeah. So I mean, this is an. Um, did you roll your your history? Yeah, check? it was only eight. So I don't okay. know if I got anything or yeah. Or, uh, yeah. I, the the what is known about this island is very little in terms of like general. Knowledge. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not a very well explored island. It's only recently been like named Bowworth Island on like maps of the globe, kind of thing. Or Before maps, it was maps just of, called here. It was just yeah. It mm -hmm. was just like there's a uh, landmass out there, um, okay. but only in like the last uh, like 15 years have maps started to include the name Bowworth on it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you do uh, like the map that you have has sort of like a uh, more empty coast. You assume that's where you could you could mark on it now, like that's where this town is, has been constructed. Uh, and then there's just forests all the way up through the northern uh, mm. side of it. All right. Uh, and I guess I'll pull out any notes that I have on the situation. And uh, all right, now that we're all seated. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello. Uh, yes. Happy to be included. Yes. yes, of course. Would you mind explaining what in the hell's happened? Oh, you know, um, magical mishaps tend to happen. I was working in my lab with my research partner and um, subsequently an arcane anomaly popped up and it, those were just the repercussions of our actions. Um, so what? you're here by accident. <laughs> I sure hope so or else he's in so much trouble. Where are you from? Yes. Um, I'm from Roxara. We Do we know that? Yeah, Is that a place we've ever heard of? No, oh, none of you. No, have, no, no. That my sounds sweet. like a made-up word. I don't think that's. I don't think that's anything. No. Been around. It. Okay, I understand. It's a bit out of the way, but you don't have to be so dismissive. Well, apologies. I did not mean to be dismissive. <laughs> I've just had never seen. I've I've seen a lot of maps in my day. I've just never seen that place. Is it quite a small sort of um, town? Oh. I would not necessarily say so. Is it from? Are you from Caldor? Ondale? I'm from Rosara. <laughs> um, apologies. Where? Perhaps I'm in a different continent. Um, continent. <laughs> Perhaps. Do you have a map of where you are from um, in your possession? I was rather emphatically shunted through a portal with none of my belongings. Portal? Well, yes, it's an arcane anomaly. I didn't just apparate. All right, um, I speak common pretty well, but don't understand any of them. But no, you're not alone. Not they said, all right. I don't think any um, of us you, said the, you said a word that I hadn't heard before when we last met. Extra planar. Yes. Well, all right. So you see, I take out a little notebook from my side and I just start drawing overlapping rectangles. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, so consider this. We mm -hmm. are here. This mm -hmm. would be what I would call the prime material plane. So we are settled right here where everything is, as you know it, mundane and normal. Normal, yes, quite. Yes, quite. Yes. So then we have these planes which overlap, which are entirely separate, however interlocked with our own. So there's only small rifts between these that you could traverse should you be able to find them or open one yourself. And you know how to do that? In theory. Mm. <laughs> um, apparently not so much an application if um, it was mucked up this badly. Um, it's primarily my area of study, I would say. And you're trying to figure out how to master this ability, I assume? I'm trying to figure out how to get home. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Yes. Mm. I'm sorry, just for clarification for myself. Mm -hmm. You're not from this plane. Well, I I assume we're in the prime material, so yes, I'm from this plane. But a different but part of it than we are. Right. I assume, yes, because I've never heard of whatever you're saying. I think I'm going to open up like my notebook and be like, it'd be like, we're on this page. Yeah. But she was on this page, and then I put the pages together. It's kind of like that, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, well, now we're on the same page, so can we get moving? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, what food you know would what? you like? <laughs> yes. In my own training, mm -hmm. does any of that sound even remotely familiar, or is this different? Uh, another prime material plane? No, 
doesn't sound like something you, mm. you would have been taught in your training. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there was a brief hope that I, uh, this person could help us, but it seems like they are insufficient at that's I'm terribly sorry. these um, portals. That, uh, so I'm, it seems like, I'm, hey, we I'm, might still need to talk to Vader. Vader. I'm sorry. Did you? <laughs> insufficient. I'm terribly sorry. What um, chicken scratch do you have there that I could take a look at? Um, <laughs> I, I pull out Done some notes. Now, we'll... And I, I actually fold them up. Great. Let um, me see them. Why? I'm sorry. You've taken a measure of my abilities based off of a few words alone, none of which are actually applicable to the field of study. So I would appreciate it if you'd actually share that with me so I could... Oh, these these are not for everyone's eyes. Well, it's confidential. Has... Oh, are they for an expert's eyes? <laughs> then why would I hand them to you? I'm sorry, please hand me the notes. I gotta put, I put them on my back. <laughs> you must understand, um, Wilkes and I are friends. He is a bit of a, um, a man of few words, quite secretive. He didn't mean any offense. I oh, meant and... some offense. Wilkes? What drink would you like, Wilkes? Because I would like it's, to go get it for it's you. It's fine. I find those who do not know the meaning of their words and know not how to use language are often the most verbose. Um, as you're having this conversation, uh, out comes Talia with a, a, a big cast iron platter of uh, something steaming and uh, sort of like awkwardly uh, an unpracticed uh, hand. She just places it down in the center of the table and you see there are um, basically a series of slabs of cooked meat mm. um, and that's it. Like there's just and they're and they're cooked in such a way they're, they're pretty burnt. Mm. Uh, they're, Immediately unrolling yeah. so many vials of spices. <laughs> <laughs> I've eating the berry and not being too hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, and maybe this is a stretch, but I just want to know in my travels. I'm a wanderer, so I'm eating on my own. I'm hunting. I'm cutting up meats. Can I figure out? What this is? Mm. Is this deer? Is the what kind of animal is this? I'm also trying to figure this out. Okay, let's get a, a survival check. Oh no! Oh no! Can I do nature? Is that sure, a stretch? For, is that a stretch? You can do no, not at all. Mm. Not at all. Saw the coffin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Survival. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> oh, no? Even with your? I uh, probably will with my. Uh, uh, barely seven. Seven. Okay. Off of a natty one. Off of a natty one. <laughs> mm. Seven uh, isn't, yeah, it's not gonna get you much. 20, Looks like me. 23. 23. Yeah, so I'm like kind of, I'll be sitting at the table and I kind of, after their conversation, I'm kind of like leaning, just watching this come down. And I'm not too hungry because I consume the berry. So I'm just kind of like looking at it and in a, in a not hungry way. Does that make sense? Like I'm yeah, not like, you're, I'm you're like observing looking it, at it passively. Yeah. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Or placidly. What does it look like that? Yeah, I'm thinking that. Wilkes, as you look across these different pieces, um, Come on. one of them catches your eye. Okay. Particularly. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily have come across this in your travels. Okay. Uh, but you know that you haven't come across it, and you do recognize it as uh, human tongue. Oh! God damn it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Sorry. It's all you. Right? Uh, yes. Is there something I can I can get you? Curious spread you have here. Um, where did you procure it? Oh, uh, locally. <laughs> <sighs> we don't get much trade here, so. W what is that, folks? I would suggest eating your berries. What's what? What, what, what do we got? Oh, I assure you, I, I've only brought you our best. Um, <laughs> is that from that coffin out there? Um, no, no. I want to. I want to read that if mm -hmm. I could. I want to try and see. Um, uh, is there any hesitation? Is no. there any? Okay. And I'm, I'm not even gonna make you make okay. an insight check. It, it's like it's earnest. Like okay. this is not. She's she's not really. Oh, um, yeah. I'm not gonna make you make mm, an insight. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I just. Uh, I'm full. Uh, I've I've consumed one of our friends' lovely bugberries here. So, I'm gonna abstain from your lovely meal and I would suggest unless others well, uh, are you not angry I'm sure it's perfectly fine thank you very much Tanya. Excuse me, I you appreciate said you angry hungry yes okay 
Angry? Angry? Oh, are you are you not are not, none of you angry? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Um Why would I be angry? I'm a notoriously calm person. Well then are you not ashamed? Uh no. Yeah, those words not mean what I think they mean. I scoot my chair back a little bit and get more of in like a prep stance. It would make you anomalous here. Mm-hmm. The only cure for shame is death, and the only cure for anger is revenge. Mm-hmm. I don't think we'll be staying the night here, friend. DM. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna Ooh. find sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's getting weird. It's getting weird, um, brother. What the? Yeah, I I am going to. Yeah. So like, as Wilkes backs up and she starts talking very funny, <laughs> uh, like my the amber in my eyes goes like pure like white silver for just a moment. Okay. Um, and as I use divine sense, I'm looking for yeah, fey fiend, or a celestial fiends and undead. Okay. Um, it's what's the range on it? Sixty. Sixty feet. Okay. Um, Dang. You 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 sense around the um, the tavern. Uh huh. Nothing comes up for you. Okay. But behind you, uh huh. Very strongly, you sense uh, a fiendish aura coming from that center coffin. Oh shit. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and what was the thing that she just said? Uh, she said the only cure for shame is death, and the only cure for anger is revenge. Um, oof. Again, I think But if you bad. suffer from neither, then, well, I'm impressed. Suffer from neither, I think we should, uh, make our way. Thank you for the meal. Everyone, how would you, would we should get moving? Yes, we, I'm sorry, we're all terribly well-adjusted individuals, so. Yes. I hop up on the table. And start walking towards the food mm-hmm. and pick something up uh-huh. and uh, as I'm gonna try I take a little bit of the mud from mm-hmm. my face mm-hmm. and kind of flick my nose and close my eyes and start smelling mm-hmm. and I'm gonna detect magic okay okay Ooh. Um, what's the range on detect magic 30 it's 30 feet mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, 30 feet. I think just on the edge of it, the, the all three of those coffins would would reek. Oh, those would light up, but nothing in this. I mean, other than nothing these people. in this. Well, uh, you would detect magic. Um, uh, 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 you would get. It's not necessarily a magical item, but I'm gonna just throw this in there because um, uh, her headband. Mm. Um, it's it's got an a magical essence to it. It's not like a plus one headband, oh. for example, but it does have the, the stink flowers. of magic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly the flowers do Got give it. off that sense. Um, I'm going to take a bite of whatever I picked up. Oh, God, please don't. Oh, if he <laughs> goes for a bite, I'm going to... Uh, Calkin. What? I wouldn't. Why? It's not animal. Mm. Looks animal to me. And I'll... I'll uh, uh, you. I'm sorry. What? The only cure for shame is death, and the only cure for anger is revenge. Revenge. Whatever do you mean by that? Well, that's the only, the only way to celebrate. Celebrate what? The return of the great one. We must either consume or be consumed in his honor. Oh, good, it's a cult. Oh, good. I wouldn't say that too loud. The Great One. Whispering it. (laughs) Remind me, please. Don't you feel him? So as part of Divine Sense, I know also if any part is desecrated Mm -hmm. ground. Interesting. Or consecrated ground. Hmm. You would not. Nothing. Nothing is desecrated or consecrated. Okay. Here. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, I will say that y- 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 uh, it's it smells bad. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like your divine sense. Yeah. Like you're picking up like there is a yeah. there is a, a rancid. Yeah. There's just a, a redolent aura of of um, abyssal filth to this, you know, yeah. 
Yeah. But there's nothing like particularly desecrated here. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to look her in the eye. Does that have anything to do with whatever's in that central coffin outside? Oh, yes. The chosen ones? I hope that when the, when the, the most recent edition is fresh that they might take me. But if none of you suffer, then I, I, I would submit to you. I'm going to get up and I'm going to walk outside. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to start walking outside. Are, are the ones in the coffins, are they chosen for, perhaps, I don't know, ascendancy? Ascendance? Is that? Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, I was going to be in a box, too. Um, I would not say that. I, no, it's complete. Would you like to be in a box? Would you? Did you want to go in the box? Oh, no. I, you don't I, want I don't to be. Possess you don't possess the rage. To, you the don't rage. the rage. I just, oh. well, I, I hope that one will take me. But, uh, but uh, you all seem to be of a certain stature yourselves. If you would, I would submit to be consumed by you. Consumed as in you would want us to eat you? Well, yes. Hmm. Oh. In his honor. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, that's, that's a- why I said Culkin to not eat the food. I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so Needs unbelievably must. weird. M- ma'am, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for Perhaps your hospitality. Mm-hmm. Uh, we best be getting on. Where did Kane go? Big fella. And I will sorry, I will yeah. go out to look to see where Kane went. I, yeah. I like I hear the passing yeah. to the conversation yeah, as I do. leave, but I'm like, do. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I got so yeah. confused. I'll follow you. I'm out. just yeah, and I know that there's something out there that might know more. So what? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll follow. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. just. Okay. I'm gonna I'm, just turn to leave the conversation. Thank you, and I go out. Just wait for me to hand. Thank you. You should not reject his honor. You or her, her cries as you start to reject. leave. Oh, mm-hmm. Don't listen to. Um, him. and as you guys walk out, the the sky has darkened. Like the the time Ooh. time has passed, and the jerky yeah, yeah, that yeah. the um, man was eating. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, and, <laughs> and you do hear the sort of a, a stirring amongst. <laughs> Uh, the, the different buildings here. There's like almost a creak of the wood as you hear uh, people sort of rising from their um, homes and, and, and coming. Uh, just in the distance, you see people starting to assemble and congregate. Um, and you would also, as you step out, you Andre, you would recognize the two people um, oh, no. in stupefaction returning and looking, and they would as you, unless you want to do something, I'm, you're, I'm happy to like let you try to hide from them if you would like. Um, how tall are you? I'm 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 five eleven. Oh great! I'm just going to. <laughs> Quite all right. Yeah, make make a stealth check. Amazing. Quite all right. Amazing. Uh, how dark is it? Um, ooh, yeah, at advantage. Oh. Yeah. Yay. Oh. Interesting. Don't worry about that. Okay, okay, That's a mystery okay. mask tool that'll help us later. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Gosh, there's so much weird shit about all of this. So much so weird shit. What is going on? First one's a 17 total. Uh, we're gonna do the 17 total. <laughs> 17 total. The <laughs> other one was not good. <laughs> okay, yeah, they they they're they're looking, but they're mostly looking like defeated, and they don't see. If you need to stay behind me, it's totally fine. I'm going to. Those people want to eat me. Okay, well that we will not let that happen. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, I can't hear that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I think everybody wants to eat us. <laughs> um, <sighs> Yeah, I mean, if, I, if I'm if i just kind of going to stride forward. As I come out, do I, I also see, like, all these people, like, starting to congregate, um, right? Yeah, yeah. Do they look you... uh, angry? They look, um, they look they look determined. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Kane, yeah. was there something in the center coffin? There is, and I'm, I'm fuck it. I'm, I'm going to walk up, <laughs> and I'm going to, like, with my hand, I grab it, and I oh. tear it open. Oh, shit. Ha! Oh, oh, okay. Going yeah. Um, yeah. Going down. God, and you do. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, Kane can. tears this off with one hand. It does. It, it looks like like you can tell from the other lid that's off of the off of the other um, sarcophagus uh, that these are like built to be hard to open. And Kane just tears well, it off. That's why we brought him. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, I could do that too. <laughs> and and Kane, uh, as you look into this tomb. Uh, it is hard to first recognize what you're what you're looking at. Okay. You see this mass of wet fur, mm. and the fur hasn't grown out so much that it covers up the skin. Like you can see the skin beneath the fur, and it is crimson red. Oh. 
um, oh. and and this 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 fur is is dripping with this blood. Um, and you see as it kind of rolls over and it kind of like unfurls itself, mm-hmm. uh, you see great talons, uh, a um, feline maw mm-hmm. as its eyes kind of open, uh, and it looks up at you. And I'm gonna have you guys roll. Oh! I'm glad. I love it. Are we in here? Are we in here? I, just, oh, I heard it. She's talking here. about being consumed. Yeah, I'm man. Scared. No, I don't know what to do. Oh, I love um, it. How do I do that? I love the lever um, pulling. Oh, man. 20 total. <laughs> okay, hang on one sec. Okay. While I get what? In here. Hey, there we go. That's pretty, pretty. <laughs> Bam! Yeah. Yeah. God damn! Let's go. Oh, I'm 20. Hey. That's two. Pretty, oh, pretty. No way. way. No way. Yeah. Okay. okay. And we'll do. I'll, you guys, we can figure out your. She would be behind me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she's sort of hit. Near in between, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm probably in between because I walked out first to go get Kane, but so I'll like probably. Bearish yeah, and Culkin, like, I don't know. Is sure, that yeah, sort of look fine. right? Uh, that works. Uh, just kind of somewhere in the. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> somewhere in the. Yeah. Somewhere in the. Fine. Okay. That's so cool. Yep. Someone there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, let me see if I can find the 20 You can use it. Oh, hey, that's way better. Yay! I have a <laughs> we're, we're here. We got this. <laughs> Anything 2025? 20, 20, baby. 20, baby 20. from Culkin. Natural 20 for a 19. For a 19. <laughs> oh, oh, so um, yeah, you're one. the kind of team I wanted. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, Let's buddy. go. Um, I rolled a 12 for a 20. Nice. Damn. Oh, geez, there we go. Yeah. I have a plus eight, too. <gasps> yeah, Wilkes and uh, Wilkes has Solana. a 17. And Solana? Got a hot 10. Woo. Very good. Very mm. good. Get that tin. A we nice, love to tasty see it. Ten. Mm. It's kind of <laughs> elderberry. Taste to it. Elderberry. It's a little elderberry <laughs> tin. There you go. Yes. Okie dokie. Smoky ten. Um. So between Andra and Culkin, who's got the higher decks? Probably. Um. Whatever. I have sixteen. Dex. Am I Dexy? I don't know if I'm Dexy. Dexy. I'm I'm Dexy. Dexy. Uh, my deck says it's I 11. Love 11. Okay, 11. So, it's me. so it is Andra. Perfect. Okay, cool. so perfect. Good. Okay, so uh, with that, um, as you do see some villagers emerging from their oh, homes. Oh, no. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> and you got uh, our little our little baby here. Oh, so they look like they're going to they're gonna participate? Oh, they are participating. Oh, yeah. Totally. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. As they're you not hear, like, no, don't eat the new ones. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. You, the um, the Whoa. feeling uh, when this creature cries out after uh, being pulled out, you can you sense it like reverberates throughout the town, and there is a sort of like unmistakable call, call to, to action. action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah, I'm familiar with that. Okay. <laughs> that. I'm familiar with Ooh. that. Wow. Um, okay, Fine. so uh, Andra, you are yes. first up. Okay. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to curl my fingers around Solana's shoulder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm presuming you're good at this? Mm, yes, I would say Fantastic. so. Fantastic. Are then- you not? Oh, Tell me I'm now. quite adept. Okay, wonderful. However, I do hmm. prefer to assist. All right, perfect. Um, and I'm going to curl my fingers a little bit tighter, and as they dig into the metal, I'm going to cast haste on you. Ooh. Ooh. What? Ooh. Let's go. Okay, okay. As awesome. I do, these tendrils of scarlet light curl out of my fingers and sprawl across your chest almost in a root pattern until they rest at your heart. Whoa. A root, and my, a I'm root in triplicate pattern. now. A root what? Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. I do get a two attacks per turn. So. Nice. Oh, Does that mean I get a four? You get an extra action. You get an, an extra action. Every so extra action, and then also twice. So attack yeah. for action two. is two. Mm. So that's four. Right. Yep. Well, it's one more. Haste is it's one, one more. more. One, one, one more attack. It's just three attacks. Yeah. It doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. It, it would be a lot cooler if it did. It would be a two level. Oh, yeah. You get an extra <laughs> action. But it is? I thought it was you get an extra a whole one. No, no, it's just one no. action. You get an extra yeah. action. It's a very specific word. It's a very specific word. One attack only. One attack only. All right, fine. You're right. But your AC also increases by two. We are the I think deck saves, too. I think the deck saves, too. And your movement. Your movement's double. Okay, AC 15. And how many turns before I get tired? Full yeah. minute until Full minute. yeah, cool. basically yeah. one minute or until she gets until rocked she, then by drive. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a concentration. It's Specific. concentration. Got it. Okay, drops, cool. then you'll go so I'm going to be Lots over here. Them. Let me know if you want me to light everyone on fire. Okay. Perfect. 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 Awesome. Okay, I'm going to be over here. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Fire. 
that'll be my go. I can't okay. do it. Again. I'm a wizard. Okay. I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard. I can't do it. Again. Bonus action. It's a great, great turn. Culkin, you're up, and uh, Kane, you're on deck. Okay, I'm up. Cool. I'm gonna cast some stuff. Um, Let's go, cast it, man. I am going to. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna drop my meat. So, <laughs> Stop, you did not. I say. did. I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop the meat. Cheers. Dropping the meat. <laughs> and I'm just gonna crack my neck. Just uh it's too early for this. Uh, <laughs> it's like almost night. <laughs> <laughs> Turn over. <laughs> my time sense is off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I done lost my insides six times over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I just ate. What you don't know. Oh. <laughs> Something uh, and and I'm just gonna um, take my. I have a staff, like a quarter staff. And I'm gonna take it and raise it and say, Idoria. And I'm just gonna pull it down. And I'm going to cast Call Lightning. Oh, Wait, oh shit! Oh, yeah. Shit! And okay. it's going to be at what level? Hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Let's do it the second level. Okay. Uh, What's the range on Call Lightning? Uh, let's do it third level. Okay. Yeah, third you're level. probably yeah. good. Right. Um, the range 120 feet. Yeah. So you're golden. 120 okay. feet. Okay. It is a uh, 60 foot radius, 10 foot tall cylinder. 60 foot radius. Within, uh, wait. Oh, within a 65. Okay, yeah, I was like, yeah. A storm, a storm oh. cloud appears in that. Oh, and okay. then from there, I can call the lightning to specific. Wherever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start with that thing in the middle. Uh, Hang on, so, okay, so you're putting the like, storm cloud in the middle. I'm unfamiliar Ooh. with. So, this happens with call lightning feet? too. Mm. Uh, it's a storm cloud? Mm-hmm. It's a storm cloud, yeah. Yeah. Call lightning's dope. Call lightning is dope. That's really cool. Oh, I see, so then you can pinpoint. I see. So yeah, it covers the whole battle. Hell yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, it's pretty good. A uh, creature within five foot, five feet of that point must make a dexterity. So I have to choose a point I can see under the cloud, and each creature within it makes a dexterity saving throw, and takes three d ten lightning. Okay. Yeah. So where are you? Where are you striking? Uh, I'm gonna choose a point just like five. So are you? So I'm gonna the other side of the uh, middle. Sarcophagus, uh-huh. like five feet beyond, just just sure. so it gets just the so creature. Just so you can not hit gain. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay. And does it make a? It makes a save. Deck save. Deck save. Okie dokie. Oh. Oh, that's that's pretty that's good. good. That's good. Uh, seventeen on the damage. Uh, I love seeing what everybody can do. Uh, a, it's an eighteen on the save. Eighteen, so it's a DC fifteen. Uh, it's, a, it's 15 decks, so it'll okay. take uh, half. 17, half is eight. 8, yeah. Okay, it takes 8 lightning damage. Cool, cool, cool. And, uh, go on. And then I am going to. Um, I'm going to say, all right, put the staff back on my back and crack my knuckles. And um, as, I, as my hands come apart, uh, they start to shift. Mm. And they start to uh, oh, transform, oh, and what? they, uh, my right hand twists and turns and starts to look like a paw. Oh boy! And my left starts to look like a paw as my I'm legs I'm also, <laughs> as, so sick. as my legs also transform and my torso starts to end before you is it dire wolf. Yo! Yo! What Yo! color is it? Um, but this dire wolf is um, black and gray fur. But the the fur, there's also like a hard carapace at points. It's not like any woodland creature you've seen. It's it's something more alien, more desert, more almost like a like a like a like a carapace on like a scorpion or something. But it's got like some jagged edges uh, Dude, around it. So and, I love it. So uh, and I let out a howl. Oh, yeah! Ooh. And uh, I'm gonna go in for a bite attack. Yeah. On, uh, on our friend. Well, you already used your air action to call lightning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. correct. Yeah. Here's the move. So, so you just transform. I'm going to move. Actually, where are. So we're. You, steps. Yeah. I think those two are at the steps. Or I'm behind you. Yeah. Behind. So that's you there. Yeah, I'm behind Culkin. So yeah. Gonna, we're by the stairs. I'm going to just move between everybody in the steps and that the group of people to the north. Mm. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Holding the line up there. You're going to move where? Up here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Heck yeah. As you guys see this enormous (laughs) beast burst out of this tiny form and it charges over to this gathering group of people. Um, None of them seem to be grabbing uh, weapons noticeably. They're Mm -hmm. all just sort of marching forward in this kind of like... Uh, stupor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. growling and gnashing teeth. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. 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 aggressively. Mm-hmm. They all sort of glad for you. That's fine. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's pretty intense. Kane, what's up? What are you going to do? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, um, so this thing in front of me, I know it's a fiend. Um, you do. Because of my divine sense earlier. What? Do I know? Do I have any inclination as to what kind? Like, is it a demon versus devil? Mm. Um, mm. any, anything in my, um, uh, make a religion, Jack? Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I don't Interesting. remember how Radio. good I am. Religion. Is intelligence. Wisdom. Where are, there you go. Okay. Religion. Yes. <laughs> Did you just go eat? I said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's he's saying, that's, he's saying, he said, he said, he said, that's <laughs> terrible. That's a six. Oh, not enough. No. Hard to tell. <laughs> All right. Hard to tell. Well, and this thing clearly looks hostile, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it kind of, it looks, it looks like it just woke up sort of, but, okay. uh, but it does look, uh, but it did just have to avoid some lightning. So it like rolled out of the tomb and, right. and landed on its feet rather adeptly. Like it is, it is, uh, capable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, if I may. You may, uh, probably. I am going to... Uh, I will turn to it, and as like I unhook my axe and my shield, yeah. uh, I'm going to turn... I'm going to look at it, and in Infernal, I'm going to say, whom do you serve? Mm, interesting. And see if he answers. Mm. Um, it, as you say this, looks like it falls on deaf ears. <laughs> as, it, as it starts to like... Uh, sort of jostle its form mm. to like get into a, a, a sturdier stance. <laughs> Very well. And I'll whoosh, ah. swing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll great. swing hard. Great. With we my love it. Axe. Yes, um, you will. Yes, you will. Ooh, not great. Um, that is a 16 to hit. 16 to hit. Uh, that hits. All Ooh. right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I will. Um, Wilkes, you're on deck. Okay. This is a fiend, you said, correct? It is. I mean, you know, when. Smoke him if you got him. Uh, yeah, I'm going to spend a first level slot to Divine Smite. Oh, yeah. boy. Um, because why? Why no? Why? Why no? Here. We are here. Okay, so, and this is a fiend, so that's an extra D. They like us here. Uh, we like them back. That's right. Oh, boy. Okay, so that is... That's um, 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. And... 14. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? 13, 14, points 17 14. points of 17 points of radiant Whoa! damage. Big ass damage. Uh, <laughs> what is this? What does your divine energy look like when you uh, put oh, it into your yeah, axe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so as the axe kind of swings down overhead, um, I uh, like I whisper just a word under my breath. Um, and as the axe like comes down, suddenly like behind it, you see this streak of like white silver that looks like moonlight. Mm. Um, and when it makes contact, it just <laughs> like explodes with like moonlight. Um, and yeah, it just looks like like silver that kind of <laughs> silver white light. Um, and then it like sears and burns the the, the creature. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my first creature. Yeah, okay. First yeah, I got you another. see as this impact hits, the like wet fur on it starts to like burn up, and there's like steam coming off of its chest as it reels backward. All right, and then I'll repeat it again in okay. Infernal. Whom do you serve? Um, and if he doesn't answer, which it sounds like he's not gonna, he, no, yep. he's just right. like, he, he sort of like pulls your axe from his chest and like, like, pushes it off. Awesome. <laughs> I'll, I'll spin and come in like real low with from the side. Okay. And, okay. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, seven, mm. 17 on the dice. 17 hits. Um, I will not smite on this one. Okay. Um, I will just keep it keep it to the basics. How'd you say it was looking after the first hit? Yeah. Um, or it's like a second hit, maybe? I mean, it hit it hard. Yeah. Um, I'll let you know. Okay, yeah, uh, my, after this on my one. turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's seven. Sorry. Uh, nope, seven plus five. 12 points of slashing. Okay. And two points of radiant damage. 
Um, also, as the the axe itself, like when I part of when I whisper that word, a piece of that sort of moonlight kind of remains around the axe as it's now like kind of glistening. Silver. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. My radiant battle axe. Thought, okay. Yes, dude. Uh, that's my uh, that's my action, and then um, with my bonus action. Sixty feet, cool. Uh, with my bonus action, I'm gonna uh, reach out my hand, and this sort of like kind of shaft of moonlight comes down over Colkin, and I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on him. Mm. Hey, um, so your AC it. goes up by two, and yes. you're just kind of oh. that same like silvery moonlight kind of coalesces really around you. Um, and yeah, that's my turn. God damn, big ass turn. Uh, Wilkes, you're up. What's up? Yeah, uh, so I'll, I'll assess the battlefield. I so at first I want to know. There, you said there's groups of people kind of standing around determinatingly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And it's these two groups that are at the, the, the edges that I just saw Culkin turn into a wolf and run over to. Yes. Um, one of the groups, yes. Seeming like yeah. they are a threat then? Or like do they seem like they're pulling weapons or something? They do seem like a threat. It's hard to it's hard to, it's hard to say they look like a like they're, they're they're not, they don't in. have weapons, but they look they're like yeah. they like have their arms in front of them and they are like coming okay. to the call of okay. this creature. Um and then I will look towards uh to Kane and see what this creature is looking like after he splashed it a few times, lightning's hit on it. Mm-hmm. Does it look pretty hardy? Um, it looks, uh, this hit it pretty hard. Okay. It's like, it, lo- it doesn't look bloodied, but it does look, okay, uh, sure. wo- then like I'll just, very wounded. By I'll, uh, I would like to, after seeing this, I would like to step to, um, the southwest part of the, the map, kind okay. of like get myself back into a corner away from other things, away from, uh, Talia, away from the two groups. And I will, uh, uh, I will raise out my hand, um, towards this reddish creature. Um, and as I do, I kind of reach my hand out. And you see like these little pieces, like a few pieces of moss kind of just like flicker off and kind of just fly off to this wolfish creature or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And they land on him and like to my sight, I can see these like little green uh, like lights now glowing on. I'll cast Hunter's Mark as a bonus. Okay, okay. Um, And then I will go to my side and I will pull off a bow and um, Solana probably has seen this because it's a new bow um, that has like more of a reddish hue to the wood. Um, and it's just a looks a little bit more defined and detailed and carvings are in it and I will reach out and I will pull the bow back and they go in for a shot and as I do um, um, I'll yell out uh, D- damn it Kane couldn't leave one stone unturned <laughs> <laughs> and I will go in for uh, an attack okay Make attack um, which is something that is probably easy for me to figure out how to do you got this Kane <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing you got this guy I believe right? yeah. Yeah. I think you can do that where are we what are we doing go, and then it's a <laughs> Plus one now, so I add to this because I haven't added to my D and D Beyond. So oh, I have plus eight, so yeah. it's plus one, so plus nine then. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That's There's a lot great. of stuff. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of math. All right. First shot. Uh, nineteen total. Nineteen hits. Okay. Well, let's go. That is. Oh yeah, and then if I could, um, since it hits, I will use one of the features on it. Um, okay. which I think I understand correctly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand it. So um, help you a ruling. Yeah, so as I as I pull the bow back, you've probably seen this before, uh, Solana. I pull the bow back and you see like uh I pull the arrow back and on the front of the arrow, some of that the bark kind of travels. This time it's bark, it travels down to the front a part of the arrow and it almost kind of like reinforces the arrow and makes it look like more like jagged spears and to add to the impact. And as I release the arrow, as I as I pull the arrow back, I pull it back and I pull it back even further. Yeah. And as I pull it back further, you guys you hear see, the creak of the string. You hear the creak of the string. You see the 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 wood kind of almost like glow in a in a reddish hue even more. And I then I like I, I will use this ability to increase the damage and I will release the arrow and, and uh, as Ooh. it strikes I add a lot more damage. Hey. Oh, oh, like yeah. that. You, oh, that. you see those it's little particles, right? That crawl up the, the Yeah, little shaft. particles that kind of like come off of my arm and then go up the shaft of the arrow and like You guys see it. as like as these things reach the tip of it, like more of them spring to life from the bow itself and accumulate Hell in yeah. addition. Hey. Like, yeah, like these little red pieces of it too. Yeah. That's Ooh, yeah. I yeah. whispered to Andrell, he loves showing off that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just got it. Come on, let me have this. <laughs> me You're have doing it. great, Will. Uh, all right. Um, so that is a <laughs> also, <laughs> <laughs> also, if I may, when he says uh, you can leave no story, it's like, well, technically it was more of a door. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and so I'm going to add, uh, this is for the, the shot, the shoot. Um, and then, so that's uh, so it's plus one, so it's eight plus seven, so 15 points of piercing. Nice. Plus. Nice, nice. I'm not done. <laughs> um, yeah, I bet you're not. So, uh, oh, yeah. so you guys Hunter's Mark is a D6. 
So two, and then two d six. Right. Six. Uh, ten. Okay. Yes, ten. Ten points of damage additional. Additional. Yeah. Um. As total. as everything hits. So okay. twenty five. Yeah. So as this enhanced arrow yeah. lands in this creature's like just below their neck, kind yeah. of Ooh. above their clavicle, it's like Argh! it recoils and and it looks it like falters. It like kind of takes that like stumble as it, um, fresh yeah. blood is pouring out from this wound. Um, and as and it its does, chest is also rent open, steaming still from the the strikes from the axe. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a feature down below. It's slow. Yeah, let's ignore that for now because okay. that's like I couldn't remove it. Okay, that's fine. Like, I, D&D, I think it's a 2024 thing. That's uh, fine. Then no worries. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, and then I'll just go in for another shot. Okay. Because I have attack roll. Attacks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. The two attack club. <laughs> <gasps> no. Did you pretty really? Pretty, 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 pretty. Did you really? No, no, this. <laughs> it's weird. We're sitting in different places. Uh, it is weird. That's like specifically the only place not on camera. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? oh, it happened. So it check it off. You um, can't yeah, tell. Yeah, natural twenty. Um, let's, so, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. Go, so dude. shit. I should have saved that. But what? I guess like no. It's one per turn. Yeah. Okay. So I still it's a d6, and it's still so two. Well, also it's one oh, wait, per we long rest anyway. Yeah. So each ability. It's a d8 plus a d6 for hunter's mark. Yes. So plus. So, so 14 automatic? Yeah, 14 yeah. automatic. 14 plus, plus 3, mod. so 17. 17. And then and I then roll. You roll. Yeah. Uh, 17 plus 10, 27. So another 27 points of damage. Yes. Um, Yikes. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. And then uh, that's my bonus. That's my movement. And uh, yeah, I'll just kind of like hunker up next to this rubble and uh, and just kind of like keep assessing the battlefield. I want to mainly keep my eyes on the, the, the encroaching army. The okay. encroaching like... People and mobs. Okay. The mobs, yeah. Drop yeah, it, as, as the second one hits, it hit, it hits it in the head, like it, like <laughs> it, like nails it, and it, it and it like Ooh. it's still up, but it's got an arrow in its head. <laughs> Do you reckon you could finish it all? I certainly hope so. <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's go, Solana. Uh, but it is the just this year's turn. Uh, Solana, you're on deck. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh, and it is going to use its bonus action to disengage from Kane, mm. and it is going to. Uh, <gasps> No way, no way. No. 5, 10, 15, 20. You can do nothing. It's gonna, gonna, yeah, skirt out and try to leap onto uh, our, our dire wolf. Let's go, boy. Oh. Puppy dog. Oh, actually, hmm, hmm. You know what? Oh no, it is gonna, hmm, let me think, let me think, sorry. All good, Okay, Take big thinkies, time. big thinkies. Big it's not like, thinkies. It's not big like thinkies. Three <laughs> the biggest thinkies, immense thoughts. So many thinkies With going all on. With all different I love that. Ooh. I'm so excited to see Solana freaking unload right now, though. Okay. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Taste it. Let's go. I just wanted to double check that I could, I'm that the size of the creature wouldn't bar. affect this. Okay, but it doesn't seem to. It would still be the same. Yeah. I hope yeah. so. I hope so. So it is going to make some attack rolls <laughs> against you, my boy. Ooh. Um, At advantage because it has pack tactics. Oh, let's go. Oh, pack. Oh, because the arm. Bonus uh, yeah. I, wrote it, I got it down. Oh, yeah, plus two. Yeah. Oh, also you got your dire wolf armor class, which Correct. is different, right? Which is, yeah. Uh, yeah, so a little I'm 14 different. plus two, so I'm 16. You're 16, nice. Okay. Shield of Faith is good on Wild Shape. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. Oof. Uh, yep. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead. It makes two claw attacks. Um, second one misses. Uh, so it, it, it charges you and it swipes with its its first claw and you, you um, the second one, you you see it coming, but the first one, it gets you, uh, and that is going to be. Uh, Actually, I'm going to make you re-roll that chronal shift. Oh. Hey. Okay. What does it look like? Yes. Um, yeah. This sounds cool. As I'm cowering behind our bard, uh-huh. I just mm-hmm. reach out a hand, and as I grip those same scarlet threads now interlaced with blue and I shift it as though I'm rewinding a clock and I go, oh. no, no, oh. no, no. And what, is, what does that do? Um, you have to reroll the attack. Okay. Oh, right on. The rewinding the... Yeah. I rewind time. Oh. How, how, yeah. far, how far back can you go? Six seconds. No, no. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> again. How far back can you go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Let me know when you can. Let me know when you can do about like two to three years. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, it rolled a two and a one. Oh, oh it misses. Dang, it misses. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Let's go. Um, and that is gonna be its turn. Goddamn. Wait, so uh, does it like? Do I, does it hit yeah, me? Yeah. So th- there's this like moment. It impacts, and then it like 
It does, yeah. I, I don't. Are they aware? I guess. I think they would. Be. I yeah, guess they would be. Yeah. The potential timeline. So you you experience this like split moment of reality where. And I have my intelligence, not the wolf's intelligence, so like I can perceive this. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So there's this moment where you feel the pain, and then you don't anymore, and you see it miss where it where it once struck. Um, Dude, that's amazing. Cool. I love that. I love that. Cool. It's cool. That's shit. so cool. Solana, Ooh, you are energy up. Yeah. Wizard. All right. Let's go. Um, That's crazy. So with haste, does that mean I get two bonus actions? Or is it just one bonus no, action? Just one, just bonus, one bonus action. action. Cool. Two I'm, actions. I'm gonna take my ring off my finger and press it into my hand. Ooh. Okay. And then I'm going to take out my sword and I'm going to use my Ring of Peregrine's protection special ability. Oh. Which is Peregrine Sharp Wit, which is once per turn, I can uh, during before I take an attack action, I can use my bonus action to press the ring. Uh, into my sword hand for a devastating strike, adding plus one to my attack roll mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and an additional 1d8 to my damage. Let's yes, yes. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yes. Um, Do cool things. Got some hard hitters. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you guys are strong. Uh, yeah, we hit. <laughs> Y'all can hit. Talia, before I leave, you know, uh, Andrail, Talia, I'm going to assume that you are not a threat. Is that correct? Um, she makes no response, but has a, a look of um, conviction in her eyes. That would that would answer your question, as uh, uh, she is a threat. Fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she sees this creature. The way she looks at this creature is with passion and and respect, mm-hmm. adoration, adulation. <sighs> this is unfortunate. <laughs> Hit it. I'm going to attack Talia. <gasps> oh, boy. That makes sense. That makes sense. Bye, Talia. I think let's let's talk, talk, let's Talia. see if I can. Uh, so I'll, I will close the distance with her. I'm going to just do one attack for now. Okay. Um, that is going to be a twoobly. That's going to be a twenty-two. Boy, <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> um, and I have I have a couple a couple little. Things. Uh-huh. So I think I'll do. <laughs> I think I'll do defensive flourish, which okay. is I can expend a bardic to deal extra damage equal to the number on the die I roll, and I get an additional bump to my AC. Okay. Um. So whatever whatever uh, happens to the damage also increases my AC. Okay. So we'll see how this D8 goes. Very cool. Swords bar. Swords bar. Yeah. So sick. That's a six. Whoa. Okay. So my AC until the end of my next turn is 21. Fucking. Oh, and uh, that is gonna add to the damage I do. And now I'm gonna do the damage from my sword. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And I get a plus one to that as well. So that's eight. Damn. Wait. Plus five. Dang. It rolled bad. Um. Oh. Uh, yeah. So that's just. That's eight damage. Okay. Um. That's my first attack. And that is How that including the 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 ring strike as well. That's so that's oh that's an additional six. So seven oh, yeah. plus six. So fifteen. Wait. I'm really bad at math. This is a this a fair fine. warning. That's You're, thirteen. That's thirteen. Damage. I'm gonna believe whatever. You that's thirteen. <laughs> that's thirteen, <laughs> that's 13 <laughs> you can damage. Like so wait, yeah. is that thirteen total? Thirteen total damage to Italia. Okay. okay. Six from your D eight. Six from your D six. Plus one. Did you add your moth? Uh, so, the, oh, the, okay, so here's how, here's what happened. It was a 1d8 plus 5 from just the rapier. Oh, okay. I rolled a 2, plus I 5, that was 7, yes. right. plus I, yeah, 1 is 8, plus 6, so that is 14. 14. 14. 14, okay. Now, hey, we got an extra one. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Every back. point there now. You go. There you go. Yeah. Does. How is she looking? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You stab Rector. her, she, she like clutches mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You can, like, she coughs up blood. I'm going to attack her again. Yeah. Okay. Um, we, we can't. We can't have can't this. Have that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a nat one, unfortunately. No. Okay. I have three attacks. Oh, what? Of the, of the hate. Oh, yeah. That is going to be another 21 to Whoa. hit plus, yeah. yeah. There we go. So 22 again. Yeah, that'll uh, oh, yeah. Right? So then let's see if this is going to do anything better. So that's eight plus the one plus I'm going to, I'll do another, um, I'll do the, the thing again that I just yeah, did. Yeah. So burn another bar. Uh, we wait, yeah, where are you striking to, to oh, as you go? Um, where's the done, first one go? You guys see that like as uh, Solana lights up their ring and presses it mm-hmm. for this first strike, mm-hmm. it is like, it, it like moves lightning fast. Yeah. And then you come around for this second Yeah, I'm going to come around for the second one. I rolled another six. So <laughs> did, did, should we, we can't have the AC stack. That would be insane. Mm-hmm. I don't that think that's once per. Um, that's so fine. So that's an additional six damage. So, um, I don't know how it works, yeah, but I assume I think, it's only once. Yeah, yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's once. <laughs> yeah. That would be insane. That would be nuts, um, yeah. So yeah. that was, yeah, so that was, I think, 
Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna, I can't remember what the damage was. Uh, don't say. worry about it. How how do you? Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. Yeah. Um, First kill of the sometimes. It, it, it's yeah. very fast. Um, <laughs> but essentially, it's <laughs> yeah. It's it's a it's an S. It's like a. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, and she, yeah. like, all across her body. Oh, yeah. Um, it's that thing where, like, you see yeah. the sword go, and then there's a moment, and then pfft, the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the blood spurts out, yeah. crumbles to the ground. And the um, this uh, this headband, this sort of crown, mm-hmm. rolls off. I'll down lock the... that. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's for later. Can I that okay. real quick? Yeah. Hey, have identified. That's a problem for later. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put it on, I guess. Don't put that on. <laughs> That's, I think, everything. Okay. That's all she wrote. Oh. Big turn. Like yeah. That. Awesome. Big turn. Ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Why is this spicy? Sorry. Ooh. Why is this spicy? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the, this um, horde of villagers is going to uh, try to grapple you, um, Culkin. And uh, so please make uh, your choice of an athletics check or an acrobatics check. If I were a group of villagers, I too would want to hug the dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hug the dog. Yeah, that, that's what they're doing. Yeah. Hugging. They, they start to swarm around you and like grab at your fur. Bang, no! no yes, get out of here! here. <laughs> My poor, oh, I just created two. No way! <laughs> Wait, we gotta add Wait, the numbers. Know. What happened? Okay, Wait. yeah, so what? Right, acrobatics or uh, athletics? Which one's higher? Uh, Ooh, you know what? Full sheet. Um, so it's gonna be uh, strength, so it's gonna be uh, so 23. Huh. Oh. 23. Chills. They're just coming. 23. 28. 20. Oh, um, Uh-oh. As these, as these eight uh, <laughs> people like grab onto your fur and you are now uh, uh, grappled. Oh. Officially grappled by these creatures. <laughs> yeah. And hmm. that is going to be their turn as they're kind of like pulling you. And you can tell they're trying to like pull you down onto the ground as they're like grabbing hold of your limbs mm. yeah. um, and sort of like uh, just groaning and <laughs> as they're grabbing onto you. They're gonna eat you. Yeah, they're gonna try to eat you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they're consuming. They're, they're trying to eat you, brother. Uh, and then, let's see. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what <are you> not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> nothing, 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 ignore it. I don't um, like the secrets. Uh, the second horde of villagers uh-huh. coming up from the south end uh, also uh, stumble over to you, Kane, oh. and try to grab hold of your limbs. Okay. Uh, so make a grapple check as well. Okay, okay, okay. You all right? That's very good. That is a 28. <laughs> hey! Oh, <laughs> they fail. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you, they, you are able to, like, easily yeah. like, push them off. 17 on the dice plus yep. a lot. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. And that's going to be their turn. Plus a lot. Um, Kane is very strong. <laughs> he's a strong boy. <laughs> we are we are discovering yeah. this is he's the truth. He's, like, weirdly strong for our uh, average Andra, human. then Kulk, and then Kane. That's what we got. Um, Andra, it's I'm going your to go. cast my gaze. The, um, the fiend is still alive, yes? Yes. In Abyssal, I'm going to say, who do you serve? Ooh. Um, That's not as, cool. as, as, you, as you say this, it's, it's ears like perk. Good boy. <laughs> Who do you serve? Yes! Yes! And it like, it can't really form one. Goodness, dear, your diction is terrible. Did you try to enunciate? <laughs> that sounded like Asriel. It did sound Asriel. like Asriel. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for cooperating. Oh. Um, so I'm going to fireball the mob. Okay. The one that's oh. not grappling the puppy. Right, of course. Um, so that's going to be DC uh, 16 decks. Well, I heard it, but I didn't understand it because I don't speak that. Yeah. I don't speak that. No. Neither does a wolf. Wolf doesn't speak that. No. What is that? What is the DC? 16. 16? Uh, they succeeded somehow. Total shit. No. Oh, oh god, really? Okay, they re-roll. Uh, again? I want That's them dead. That's totally personal. <laughs> yeah, they fail. They fail. Good. Hey. Okay, I, I like to think. On As to you a- see, the, the first time they kind of see it coming, and then the second time they're like. As I begin to cast, these flames begin licking around my fingers, the small moat of fire growing larger and larger and brighter. Ooh. And as I see them begin to shift and turn towards me, I just lift a finger. No, no. Ooh. This is going to hurt. And I'll send it forward as it blinks into the sky, mixing with the lightning. That lightning cloud oh. as it fizzles. Oh, you yeah. see the purple flash with oh, yeah. the red, and it Fucking begins cool. to rain downward. That is and so I'll sick. Roll. Oh, man. So cool. sick. Combo attack. That's one, two, three, four. So I'll just roll these four twice. Oh, God. Okay, sick. You want me to write these down for yeah. you? Yeah. So, right. so that's 
sorry, it's a wizard, so it's going to be... Okay, so 12, mm-hmm. 17, mm-hmm. Um, 12, 17, mm-hmm. 18. Mm-hmm. Did you roll again? Mm-hmm. Oh, God, it's bad, guys. Uh, 17. Mm-hmm. Sounds okay. good to me 19, so far. 19, 21, <laughs> 22. Uh, 32. Mm-hmm. 32 fire. Let's go. <laughs> okay, but they, yeah, and they failed. They failed because they I take all of it. it. Yeah. Yes. Goodbye. Ooh. Yeah. They, nice. they fucking, this, they <laughs> explode, they disintegrate. Like, they, they are completely lit by this uh, purple fire as it rains down on them. And yeah, there, you hear many screams. <laughs> we didn't like them. That was ethically sound. Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Good night. Forever. So, I'm just sitting there and I get like washed over yeah, with like, like heat, curtain and they just yeah. go, thank you. <laughs> of course. Awesome. Um, I'm and just... among that was the two people who were, <laughs> who were yeah. trying That's why it was earlier. personal. That's yes. why it was, that's why it was. Right. You're like, nah. <laughs> no, no, oh, you're going, you're going. <laughs> Absolutely not. Perfect. Um, and then I'm not going to move. I'm behind a very nice lady who mm-hmm. protected me. So I'm going mm-hmm. to stay right here. That's totally fine. True, very true. Okay, next up, uh, Wilkes. Oh. Right, no, Colkin, sorry, Colkin. So th- they're, on, they're on me, like, wrestling. They're, they're, they're grabbing you. All right, yeah. call, so I'm calling lightning right in between me and the, uh, whatever that creature is. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'm gonna hit myself, them, and that creature. Okay, nice. so, cool, nice. cool, cool, cool. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Uh, it's a DC fitting, DC fitting. DC fitting, mm. okay, okay, as a deck save? Deck save. Uh, so that's eight. It's ten. It's a nine. Uh, it's a seventeen. The uh, people fail. Nice. And uh, the creature succeeds. So, so it's gonna take. So it takes half. Half. So yeah. it takes uh, what? Uh, eight. Eight. Yeah. And I. Oh wait, I rolled my son. Hey, I made it. <laughs> hey! Oh, you take you eight, and they take yeah, seventeen. Yeah, he he did. Um, he badass. So you're gonna have to. I'm gonna need a ruling. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my. Uh, so my. I didn't say this, but when I went into shifted in form, my staff merged into the wolf, but yeah. my necklace is still around the neck. Mm-hmm. Cool. And as this lightning comes down, the totem mm. uh, absorbs some. So some of the lightning. Gets absorbed into the totem. Okay. Um, and, and like a little blue gem starts to light up on it um, that is not super visible without any energy um, energizing it. And with that, I'm going to half the damage that I take. Um, so I would take four. Four. Yeah, that's um, awesome. And I, would, I do need a concentration check. Um, and I'm also going to redirect okay. the, the energy. Okay. Uh, with the totem? With the totem. Okay into this creature so it missed the first time but i'm redirecting it back at it again okay nice um so if it's got to make another save another save yeah and it's going to be a dc i think it's 13. okay this is a deck save again and it is going to be dex yeah okay yeah it failed what, it what, failed. what does it All take right. so yeah. it takes the damage that i would have taken from the triggering spell or ability so the damage i would have taken was eight because I have it to four. Right. So, so it, it takes, takes eight, eight. Eight lightning. Okay. God damn. Oof. Okay. And Oof. then I'm going to bite his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Bite him. Well, wait, no, no, call like, lightning. Call, no, no, yeah. Yeah. call lightning. Yeah. Call yeah. lightning. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, yeah. Is it bonus action to call lightning? No, it's action. No, it's an action. Yeah. It's an action. Yeah. Right. But oh, it's, okay. like, while he has concentration, you can just keep doing it without oh, spending okay. a spell yeah. slot. But what I am going to do. So sick. I love call lightning. Are they, how are the people doing? Um. They took 17 damage. Uh, you you kill a couple of them, like a like a cluster of them just get um, electrocuted to death. Mm. Um, <laughs> so I have a, so a bonus action. Um, so I have telekinesis, and what I would like to do is target. I don't know how you will rule this because I don't know if they're as, as a group or individuals, mm-hmm. but I would like to push as many of them off of me as possible. Does, does the redirect cost you anything? The as redirect. As the design. Oh, that's a good question. It's a it's, reaction. It's your reaction. It's a reaction. Okay. So okay. Reacting cool, cool, cool. Good to know. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, it's yeah. reaction for so for this turn. Um, 
So for your bonus action, you want to try to shake him off? I want to push. So what I can do is shove. Kinetic shove. I can do a telekinetic oh, shove, like five feet. Yeah. Okay. Telekinesis. Mm -hmm. Telekinetic dog. Crazy. Okay. Y'all are too magic. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, a psychic dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a man with a bow over here. Right. Whatever. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, all right, cool. Like, uh, uh, do they do an acrobatics uh, check against so your shove? They're or going to have strength. Strength. Okay. Uh, it's a DC 8 plus muscle, so DC 13 uh, strength saving throw. They fail. Oh. <laughs> so it says one creature I can see, so I don't know if you just want to, like, if you um, like, I think you, uh, th we're counting this as a, as a the swarm. The is uh, one so, yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there, yeah, you push them all off with this psychic shove you're able to. Between the, the strength of your wolf form, you can shake them off. Do you push them back a, a number of feet? Uh, or five, five, five feet? feet? Okay. Cool. So I just stand up and shake. <laughs> As these people fall off, some of them have recently ah! been electrocuted. Yeah, <laughs> electrocuted. Yeah, Shove. yeah, fucking crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is your turn. Yeah, Kane, you're turn. up, buddy. Okay. God damn. <laughs> wow. Things God have, damn. Things have changed rather dramatically. Yeah, these people S in front of you are all dead. So, <laughs> Solana has. Dispensed with Talia. She's been dispensed. Mm -hmm. People in front of me are crispy, uh, or the, uh, yeah, they're crispy and on the ground. They are, so the yeah. only things left is the horde and then the fiend that is on. Yes, Tolkien. Yes. Okay. And cool. The, the damage it received from this, this little lightning strike, like it is barely holding up, and it is still kind of to your ear, Andre. You, you're hearing. <laughs> And that is that sweetheart. Is, speak up. <laughs> <laughs> As it's kind of like fading and faltering. Okay. Yeah. Are you what talking you got, King? To that thing? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, you're hearing a missile. <laughs> yeah. <out of> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. That's accurate. Yeah. With a with a look for uh, for Andre, <laughs> uh, just like. Uh, respect. It's like, fine. Wow. She's, she's pretty impressive. communing. She's not possessed. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Um, and I will uh, run forward. Um, and uh, yeah, I will reach up, and I'm gonna attempt to grab and grapple this fiend and pull it off of Colkin. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna make a grapple. Okay. Twenty-five. It fails. Yeah. Okay. So I grab it. <laughs> I would hope so. Uh, I grab it, and oh man. Okay. So I'm grappled. Yeah, I grab it like by the neck, like yeah. by the throat, and I like look at it. And it's still saying it now that I'm closer. I'm gonna like bring it in really close, okay, and try to like hear clearly what it's saying. I mean, it's speaking abyssal. Oh, I don't so understand. Yeah, I only you're understand just growls and yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just pull it in real close. Do I want to freaking? Oh man. Do cool things. It. Do, it. Do, do it. Do it. Do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit it yeah. with my with my axe. I'm gonna non-lethal. Mm. <gasps> I have something to help you later if you want to do that. I'm gonna non-lethal. Yeah, go for I'm it. Just, I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah. Twenty-two to hit. That hits. All right. For yeah. don't bother. It had one HP. Oh, oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Call. Yeah. yeah. Call. So you call, dude. Uh, you block it. Yeah. Yeah. I, so yeah, actually, like if I see that it's like that, I'll just like. Choke it. Just like <laughs> choke it until yeah, it passes so out yeah. and then like oh, pop it in the head <laughs> just for safe measure. And then I'll yeah, drop Kane, it. Yeah, Kane lifts this creature up. Yeah. And this creature is uh, at, at least as tall as Kane. And he still, one hand lifts this above his head. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it asphyxiates, uh, mm. not lethally, and yeah. it goes limp. And it's got an arrow in its head, yeah. and its neck, and it's got this. Gaping wound on his chest, but uh, and then I'll I'll like look at Andre and be like, and I'll just throw it in their <laughs> direction. Uh, oh, a just, present for questioning. Um, for questioning, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I will inter I will go shoulder to shoulder with uh, Colkin, um, and just yeah, just a nuzzle a little bit. <laughs> yeah. oh. um, as you do, as you go shoulder to shoulder, it's up to y'all. But these people are their numbers have dwindled substantially. They are uh, not super intelligent, but smart enough to know when they are in ex extreme danger and they will try to flee. Yeah, if you guys will yeah. let them. I'm just gonna howl. I'm not, just 
I will harry, but not attack. Uh, you like bar- bite after them, like, mm. like yeah, ankles. The yeah. Don't come back. But like for, <laughs> for the some big old dire wolf, like I'm like, trying to get their heels, but it's like they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're running off, <laughs> Just screaming yeah. off into the, yeah. Into yeah, the yeah, village. Yeah, they literally do. They like scurry off and try to like they would close doors behind them and stuff as they as they run off um, into the town. I'm going to turn to Andrel. Uh, it, it, was were I correct in identifying you as speaking Abyssal? Yes. Wonderful. I'm just gonna go over to Kane and tap him on the shoulder, and I'm gonna cast tongues. Oh. Um, so you can have that too. So, uh, two interrogators. You were always so much. Good better. warden. I have bad a question. Um, before uh, we move out of combat, um, when they started to run, is, when you knock something unconscious, does it bring it to zero? Could I move my hunter's mark? Mm. Um, sure, yeah. I would like to just it. throw my hunter's mark on one of the running um, oh, so people smart. to see okay. maybe oh, if we need to find them. Track them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay. It lasts an hour, so. Right. Sure. I'll, I'll, as I yeah, see that, I kind of just that. like move my hand and you see those little like, or those That's little smart. things kind of like move over to one of the guys mm. Mm. running off. Oh. Yeah. Super I need, cool. I, got, I took four damage. I need to roll a concentration check. Okay. okay. I rolled a two. Okay. Oh, no. So the lightning cloud. No. Uh, wait, two plus what? Uh, oh, Oh, no, I wasn't next to you. Sorry. Shoot. Um, yeah, not yet. It's okay. I think it's mm-hmm. wasn't yet. It's served its purpose. Happened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're, we got her we're now. out of initiative. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah. How long so does it last? Cool. Normally. Sorry, I interrupted uh, your awesome explanation, though. I feel like you were gonna be like, oh, and it no, goes away. Good. I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. As uh, as Solana casts the spell on me, I uh, I look to you. I'm just, you know, you were always much better at the magic than I was. I know. <laughs> Thank you for putting it so gently. <laughs> and I will like, pl- like kind of like playfully like nudge. You're her. welcome. <laughs> just like, oh yeah, just like, all right. <laughs> Trip the sword. Sturdy is the armor. Mm-hmm. I'm better at hitting things. I happen. know, I know. Hey, it's good. It's a good skill, especially for where we are right now. N- necessary at times. Did you ever, back when we were in school, did you ever think that we would find ourselves in a place like this? Never. Mm, me either. As you say this, one of the roofs just... <laughs> <laughs> it's a far cry from Stillgate. Quiet. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, what's the plan here? Can any of you actually talk to it? Yes, um, I believe you as well. No, yes. Thank you, okay. Solana. Of course. Um, could we please tie it up? It would give me a great deal of security. Mm-hmm. We could yeah, please restrain this and thing. I'll, I'll use some rope and I'll just kind of tie up the arms, tie up the legs, and then I guess maybe drag it over to the well and kind of lean it up so it's like back is against the well so it's kind of in a sitting position yeah. yeah and i'll just leave it there and maybe if i have i think i have what was what's a normal rope it's like 50 feet of rope or something. yeah i'll yeah. do a i'll do a once once twice around the well if it's small enough as, mm. as you're doing that i look back into the center of town and where you are and i just put if, if i can get the space i'm just gonna put my face like right in front of its face mm. okay. Okay. Oh, can you are a light a low growl very interesting do we want to keep the arrow in for threats, or shall I Will remove that, it? Uh, well, um, I reach up and I just grab it and I just pull all it right, out. I'm gonna cure wounds. Question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like as you're as you're pulling it out, I'm I'm sending my little caterpillar butterfly to just close up the hole. Amazing. Uh, and then I'll, I'll pull one. I'll pull, so there was one in the neck. Yeah, I'll pull that one out. Yeah, this. Right. Uh, <laughs> gets to make it better. The, the dire wolf gets distracted by the butterfly. Oh. Um. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's adorable. Um, what? So, and uh, yeah, I didn't. None of us understood it. Mm. But I will turn to Andreal and say, "You could you understand it? You could." Well, hypothetically, yes. Were it not abysmal at speaking, um, <laughs> pardon my pun. Uh, however, <laughs> um, yes, I, I, the diction was terrible. Were it perhaps more cognizant once it awakens again, I might be able to understand it a bit better, especially with a second pair of ears. Uh, um, soft vowels, Azrael, maybe, I don't know, something akin to that, at least. All right. What did you, what did you ask it? Who do you serve? All right. And, and it answered. Hmm. It, yes, it answered. <laughs> Do we want to do this here? And I'll like look around it, like. Well, we in have the a free in. Quite restrained against the well. I'll do it once around. If after I tie yeah. it up, I, I'll Good just kind of do it once around and. I'll go with you. I'll go with yeah. you. Yeah. And and you there. having placed your hunter's mark, yeah. you like see it like disappearing beyond yeah, the range. Yeah, I, think I can like, tell. Like, yeah, I'll just yeah. kind of like get an eye. I'll look down the corridors. I'll maybe listen in some of the ho- the buildings near us and kind of mm-hmm. get a gauge mm-hmm. if there's anyone else around. If you hear here. anything, there is like. Uh, indiscernible chatter, but it is like mewling, like that the tones of it are are mm. like a wounded animal. You know? right. uh, 
I don't think there's anything here that'll give, cause much of a threat at the moment. We can go in the inn if you prefer. I don't know how you're... <laughs> it's fine. It's all right. It's Plan fine. Forward. I don't particularly mind. Start brushing off my doublet, fix my hair. Well, <laughs> you should be pretty sturdy set in this well, yeah. so I don't think it'll And, and as, you guys, um, as you guys... awake. As you guys are having this conversation, you first finally get, like, you are able to fully take stock of Andrael and... and yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um... Close, shorn hair. Uh, also looks like a rough cut ah. um, that oh. falls over one side of her face. It's red that airs on the side of maroon. Mm. Um, amber eyes, uh, very pale skin, almost a sallow face. She's thin and willowy and has a claret red doublet over a puffy shirt. She wears pants, high boots. Not a typical wizard garb, but one you might be more familiar with. And as she kind of turns, you'd see that there is a earring in a geometric pattern on one side of her face where the hair is shorn shorter that has a blue dangling gem from it that matches a choker wrapped around her neck that has a gold ribbon with a blue gem set in the center. Okay. That's awesome. So sick. That's sick. Is the, the geometric pattern, is it like a kind of like fractal? It's or? like the a fractal drawing. cuff, yes. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. And uh, the gem, do we get a sense of any what kind it is? Is it like a sapphire or just kind of like a sapphire? A... It's yeah. not from here, is it? Um... Well, <laughs> it's from my jeweler, so mm -hmm. of course it's not from here. Mm -hmm. I could see if I could get you one once we get this sorted out. I would out. very much like that. I, I would like nothing more. In fact, Solana. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I will step a paw on the creature, just like hold it down, mm -hmm. cool. hold it in place. Okay, perfect. Um. I'm going to slap it away. <laughs> oh, that works. <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, um... <laughs> So, um, it looks at you like it's it's the pupils of its eyes like dilate inward, like mm -hmm. that they thin out as they uh, as they kind of like focuses on you. Yes, hi, pleasure, and then swapping into a vessel immediately. So, um, what was the purpose of your mission here? <laughs> it like turns. It like its gaze like wanders over like toward the forest, and then it turns back. Oh. You indeed, sir. So. All right. So, oh, 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 oh I know. I'm, I know. I look quite like delectable. Like tries to pull free from his body. I know. Yeah. I look Oof. quite delectable. Calm down. Um, could you tell me your master's name? <gasps> and like, as it begins to speak, it looks at you, and it, you almost see. This would be indiscernible to the rest of you. But Andra, just for like a moment, you almost see like recognition. Hmm. Be a good boy. Salo. 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 Azregor. Azregor. It screeches toward the sky. Be a good boy and listen to what I'm saying to you. I want a clear name now. And it like bows its head almost in like reverence. Good boy. As Ray Gore. As Rigor. That's a very good boy. Now, do you have anything else I should know? And you see its eyes kind of drift over to the corpse of Talia and like you see like just a, the slightest semblance of sadness in its eyes over here <laughs> over here that's a good boy what else <laughs> kill me oh sweetheart I'll kill you if you tell me one more thing that you think would be important. Give me a little gift and I'll give you a gift in return. Alright? Kill me! Tell me, and I will. Anything useful. Make yourself useful, and I will bestow upon you death. It's... It's coming. Who's coming? Soon. Who, what is it? The return. The return. The end. Oh, 
in the beginning. Kill me. All right, just get it. Can you? Can you, can you, can you? <laughs> and I'll yeah. Fucking just the as, axe. It, as it like starts to flail, it's like there's you see the like internal struggle of this creature fighting against its own nature. Yeah, and you have Kane yeah. with with no no um, amount of uh, what's the word I'm looking for with with a, a almost a, a sense of um, identification with this creature. You mm-hmm. you take it. Yeah, I put it out of its misery. <clears throat> what it say? Oh, Asrigal. And that the end is coming. Not too. Hmm. Sorry. And the beginning. Buried the lead. Um, I'll think about that name and see if it rings a bell. Though. No. Could I roll religion? You, you can or roll. Arcana? Fuck. Hmm. Do I History know this? Or something? Arcana would As, be great. Asragor. <laughs> Asragor. R with an A. G-O-R. You don't. You don't. I don't. You can't. Yeah. No. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna Love whisper. You. I'm gonna whisper to Kane, <laughs> yeah, yeah. preferably out of earshot yeah. of Andrael. I'll stand Is up. She the good warden or the bad warden? Frankly, I'm not sure. She's during that interaction. Do you yeah. Know? Like, did did she seem to have any like? It it seemed to me that she had like kind of a control almost over this creature. Was there any like? Anything I was able to discern or glean from that? You you saw it, it the sort of like randomness of the moment, even amidst all of its sort of like mangled uh, unintelligibility. Yeah. Uh, you saw, you heard it say the word "sallow" as yeah. it looked at. Yeah. Andre. Oh right, 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 yeah. right. And that and that was like the moment that it's like demeanor kind of shifted. Right. Mm. Yeah. But you can understand everything. I could understand. That you understood that, yeah, that whole. Does that mean anything at all to me? Sallow. No. Okay. No, sorry. Mm. No, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. <laughs> this is all crazy shit. It's crazy shit. Okay. And I promise okay. it's not just like baseless no, that you no, don't no, know. No, of course. No, it I makes totally perfect makes sense. There are, totally there's a very sense. real makes perfect reason why. Sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as we kind of like wander off, uh, Solana and I, I'll Mm-mm. like turn, yeah. I don't entirely trust her yet. I understand. I was hoping that that's what we would glean. We'll keep our eyes on her. Mm-hmm. Well, the inn, I, pre- I presume, is probably not occupied at the moment. Yeah. Also, I don't know if we'd want to stay here, considering... Well, we must we rest. A day's travel to get to Veta? Shh. Unless you want to make camp in the woods, but I don't know. I can lend us some protection. We can pull the us doors, warning. windows. It is getting... What, what time of day is it? Like, uh, it's probably around 7, maybe 7 p.m. Yeah. It's getting late. We do not want to take that traversal in the dark. I would agree. We'll ask the others, and I'll turn to the rest mm-hmm. of the group. As you turn, in your face, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> just like, lick. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, yeah, like my very, very well kept beard <laughs> hair. Just. That can't just smell good. And I'll, uh, I'll reach up and I'll, like, Give scratches on the side of the face. Aww. You're welcome, friend. And I'll look up. He's huge. <laughs> Freaking huge. I'll be like, um, you're full of surprises, Colkin. Glad to have you. I whisper to um, Wilkes. I'm like, I see now why you hired him. I got tongues. He can understand. Right? Well, oh, I got tongues. Yeah. Tongues, You're let right. me see. No, let tongues, me you see. Oh, I understand language. I think, language. I, think I pick yeah. one. I like, think, yeah. And I don't think I have... Well, also, he can understand language. language. No, it You have your intelligence. You can... Yeah. I can, you, he can he understand, understand me anyway. Oh, the spell grants the creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken or signed language it hears or sees. Moreover, when the target communicates by speaking or signing, any creature that knows at least one language can understand. Wait. Yeah. But so you yeah. can understand well, so don't have a language. They don't have a language. So you can't talk to me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, okay. you could understand yeah. everything I said anyway. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. I was just curious. I was like, yeah. that would be so crazy. It would no, be no, fun. Fun. Right, 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 right. <laughs> um, uh. All right, so um, we have a couple of options. Uh, we mm. could stay here, rest, and depart in the morning. Mm. That doesn't seem exactly the most safe thing to do, considering, uh, I don't know, Wilkes, any... Well, I'll we look could around. take our chances with the land. Uh, yeah, I'll look around. Uh, when I was doing my initial search before we started this interrogation, I heard people in the buildings, right? I heard noises coming from the buildings, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I would prefer it. I mean, I, I, do, I do love the forest, but it also, and I'll point to some of the buildings, we're not alone here. No. Should we traverse into the woods, I could grant us a temperature-controlled bubble that no one could enter. All right. We could, but also, do we think there's anything to be helped here? I mean, and I'll turn to the dead bodies mm, on the ground. Yeah. And the fallen in roof that happened earlier. Yeah, mm. like, I'm I don't, like wondering. Kane, I don't think that's our mission here. Well, we do have some time. We can't traverse that tonight. A day's travel, starting this late. I would love to see if there were any texts in the inn. Something to explain the situation here, the, more about the ascendancy, whatever that is. Let's do a search and then head out. Yes. I'm going to smell the mm. dead creature mm. and then smell around and see if I pick up anything similar. Ooh, nice. Uh, make a... Dog s- check. S- s- a smelly, smelly check. Yeah. It's um, me. Is it, make is a it like a... Perception. Perception. Yeah, because you, you would roll an advantage, right? Perception. Yeah, yeah, Sniffy yeah. sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I'd like and to roll for one sneeze. While he's doing that, if yes. I may, yeah. I, I would like to open the other two coffins. <laughs> okay. I don't know if there's anything in there. Well, that's or, kind of... So uh, that's really kind of I love it. So 18... Um... Uh, 21. Nice. Okay, you you sniff around for it. There is the faintest smell, um, but as you follow it, it goes off into the forest. It goes off into the forest, yeah. and then, but nothing here in this vicinity. Nothing, nothing here, there. no. Okay, um, no. all right. Um, and uh, Kane, as mm-hmm. you tear off the lids to these uh, coffins, um, uh, the, well, the first one is, is already open, right? And so you do see the, the blood splatter that was there before um, beneath the cloak um, mm-hmm. that I think Wilkes pulled out. Yeah, but I think... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Solana has it. She has it now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So there's like a ton of like just dry... Just dried blood. That's that. That one. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. the second one you open, mm-hmm. you find a desiccated corpse. Mm-hmm. It is a, a humanoid figure. It is... Um, has, it is long dead. Um, um, you can make a medicine check. If, uh, yeah, I think yeah. that would be necessary. If so there wasn't anything in the second. But yeah, where you the find you find this like old corpse. Yeah. Okay. So I'm curious as well. So the first one was open and the robe was in there, but there's no. Was there evidence of of a of a corpse in there? No, right? No. no. Oh, wait, that smell. That's Around. promising. So that's promising. That's, that that's very promising. That smell, mm-hmm. that smell going off. Oh, oh but you said nothing around here. Nothing close by, but yeah, you could smell like you could see the like, like the, the trail, the, the of mist this. of it. Yeah, of as that it creature had raced off. So now you kind of have that creature. Maybe like you can maybe track. smell it for it. Yeah, maybe yeah. you can smell for it again. Yeah, yeah. that's helpful. Um, that sounds cool. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I think I, I'll, I'll walk back to the corpse and kind of nuzzle it, and then mm. point towards the di- with my with my uh, muzzle point towards the direction and just kind of <laughs> and paw uh, mm. in the direction tr- trying to. Okay, which direction is that? Is that where the people ran off? No, it's it's into the forest. Path. It's north. Mm. Is that yeah. the path that we were told towards the dig site? Okay. Yeah, 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 roughly. It's it's towards not quite on the path. It's okay. like mm. off okay. to the the Potentially west a little bit. Yeah, mm. but but yeah, it's it's um like you would be able to um Culkin, like, given your understanding of the nature of things, that this thing like ran off in a a scurry in a mm. sprint off like not not with much sense of direction. It just like raced off into the forest. Yeah. Oh, uh, good boy. Uh, <laughs> we might be facing more of these, I suspect, so... Yes. Hopefully our four-legged friend can track them or keep an eye out. Mm-hmm. Can you do that, Culkin? Uh, what's the response? Uh, just kind of a... The head just dips. Mm-hmm. My head just dips a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna... Can I, like, do, like, a little stomp-stomp, like... Two for no, one for yes. Oh, um, one. Mm. <laughs> uh, and I. Uh, all right. Well, seems like you may be useful after all. I thought you hired him because he was useful. Oh, I was forced. Ah, oh, interesting. Encouraging. <laughs> oh, um, turning to Salona. Mm-hmm. Do you um the, the item that you picked up? May I? Oh, of course, the crown. <laughs> Whatever this is. Yes, I'm yes. going to begin casting identify on it. Oh, okay. Just going to stop. Uh, medicine check. Just, yeah, 16. Yeah, as, as oh, you're casting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 16. 16? Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, that's pretty good. Um, you are able to tell this corpse is probably like a month or so old. That's why there's so many maggots around here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's uh, pretty juicy. It's pretty juicy. Um, uh, it appears there are a lot of ways it might have died, but you suspect probably from starvation and dehydration. Oh. Not a sin. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, I will, will uh, yeah, I'll just, honestly, I'll just close the coffin as I do under my breath. I say, may you find rest as you return to her embrace. Mm. And I'll just close the coffin. Mm. We have to worry about that one, Kane? I don't think so. Good. Alejandra, what are you finding out? Trying to say, give me a moment to take a bit. All right, I'll be back. And I'm going to do a quick pass. I'll do another quick pass, and I'll look around. I'll just keep an eye out for anyone approaching, sneaking mm. up on us. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um... Andre, as you complete this, uh, what does it look like when you cast Identify? Yeah. I yeah. stare at it really hard. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you I fully interrogate it. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> I just, as I brush my fingertips over it, parts of it just light up mm. where the magic is most present. Mm. And every time something flares or flickers, I pause a moment, breathe in as though I'm processing information, breathe out, and continue as I skirt my fingers along the entirety of the item. It's really fun. Very cool. cool. I like that. Cool. That's awesome. Um, This is, um, by all estimation, a a normal headband. Um, The the flowers upon it are red anemone flowers. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say, because you're spending all this time with, with it, there's something about the flowers that you find familiar. Um... Uh, you remember a uh, oh hell you can uh, tell me it's yeah, okay yeah 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 we only got four episodes <laughs> <laughs> um, you remember a member of your um, team mm. uh, the sort of head of security had mm. a, had a um, love of these flowers they, they were um, prosperous in his homeland Oh, who was in charge of security? I think I liked you. <laughs> oh no, was it Oz? Was it Oz? No, I like Oz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yep. I don't even care. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't even care, actually. <laughs> Talia had the same kind of clothes as Andre, on Andra, right? Andra? Uh, yeah, in many respects. I mean, they didn't seem to be like from the same, like, Era or whatever they like, they or like by the same tailor or anything like that. But the style, but similar style. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, as I'm, my fingers pause once I reach the flowers, and they just tense up a moment. Mm. Everything all right, Andra? Oh, absolutely fine. It's no issue. The hands just shake slightly as they continue their path. Um, no, it's mundane. It's a mundane item. Insight check. Yeah. And just, well, as I... you do that, just yeah. a single petal falls off of mm-hmm. the headband. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, go go for yeah. Yeah. go for an insight check. If you want to roll a deception check to try and yeah to hide something, feel free. It's up to you. Damn. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, it's not looking great. It's not looking great. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give myself Bardic. We're just burning it. Yeah. 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 Okay, you, we're gonna we're gonna sleep soon. Yeah, though. yeah, that's what we think. <laughs> what is your Bardic? Uh, Great. Ratio? Oh yeah, because I've just What's been using that? it for slots. I think um, you see just mm. her nose like wiggle a little bit. Oh, <laughs> oh, I like that. Cool. Um, yeah. That's so <laughs> and cute. let's see here. Um, ooh, it's gonna be interesting. Okay. Ooh, mm, no, it's, I don't think that's going to be enough. Um, yeah, no, it, there's no way it's enough. I know you rolled. <laughs> 23. Mm. Yeah. I think I rolled like a three okay. plus four, so that's 10, plus three, so 13. Not even close. Yeah. And uh, 
I'm not lying about it being mundane, though. No, no you're not. No, I'm yeah, not. You're, you're not lying. Yeah, yeah. So you, I mean, you could also have made it a persuasion, I guess. Um, but uh, oh, that's twenty-seven. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, I'm but, better at but telling e- the truth. Either way, yeah, Solana, you, you, like, Andreal is just so peculiar that it's like really hard to like get a sense of yeah. when what they're saying is real because mm-hmm. it's so. Uh, everything they've said has sounded like a made-up word from a different, you know, yeah. that sounds so strange. Well, if it's so. mundane, I would like to keep it as a souvenir. All right. Thank you. I'm going to put it back in my bag. I'm completely um, fine with that. Anything else we want to pick up here? I mean, I'm ready to get out of this hell hole. Yes, I think I'd rather take my chances with the wo- with the woods. Right. Fine by me, unless we want to invest. Did you did you want to look in the inn for text? I might want to look a little bit in the inn, if that's all right. I'm gonna hold yeah. the door open for you. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Investigation <laughs> check. I'm Get good with it. it. I'm going to enhance ability myself because <laughs> we're gonna sleep soon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Shake Though thank God I did. There you go. Yeah, I guess me advantage. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, 17. 17. Nice, nice. I rolled a nine. You did great. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You look around this, this, um, I'm going to say that you are like, you're pretty quickly able to assess that, that you're not going to find much in the like lower floor of this inn proper. So you go up, you start looking around the rooms. None of them seem to have been like lived in in any mm-hmm. recency, but you do eventually find what you presume to be Talia's room. Mm. Great. Um, and, uh, from that you are able to, um, eventually locate um, a uh, sort of diary. Fantastic. I take her shit. Okay. Yeah. You take that I shit. I think like, I, because I was holding the orb and I did watch as you investigated, I see you found something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just as I scurry back down the stairs. Wonderful. Perfect. One question, Andra. Yes. The style of clothing. Talia yes. had it as well. Did you know her? No. <laughs> Are they just similar, similar fashion from where you're from? I can't be upset when a woman has tastes. That I can agree with you on. All right, shall we? We shall. All right, I give you my arm. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) To the woods. Yeah, follow me. Wonderful. Um, And Mm -hmm. uh, because I know that there are people out there trying to get us uh, as (laughs) we go up to this... (laughs) (laughs) Shut up. As we go up to this path, um, I'll uh, kind of gather everyone up. And oh, how do I, oh yeah, I'm trying to remember if I did this in the last one, but I think I did. And and I'll put my hands. I'll come kind of go down like and grab some of the dirt, and feel it, put my hand on the ground. Mm-hmm. And as I put my hand on the ground, some of those bark pieces and moss and they kind of like skitter off my hand and kind of just like almost like spread out in an area around us. And uh, you just see for whatever reason, just like around them, just like it just like gets darker mm. and, and shadows and it mm. kind of blends and everyone in this everything in this little circle just seems like like it melts like it's it's harder to kind of distinguish where lines start and begin mm-hmm. and I'll cast past without a trace hey. Let's go. and as I kind of raise up and bring my hand up best we don't run into then anything like that again agreed oh yeah well so I think I forget you have quite a grace to what you do for someone so rough around the edges <laughs> What do you mean? I'm so smooth. <laughs> You're right. right. Let's go. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a shared look yeah, maybe with. Like... <laughs> I, I'll walk over to Andre okay. and um, just kind of like nose, like mm. your elbow. I immediately then... kneel down and start giving you that. So. Aww. I'll, um, I'll, I'll lay down and then like kind of like like show my back. Ooh. So. Oh. And I'm kind of like, oh. like, oh, oh, all right, cute, oh, cute. You are awfully sweet. Kind of cup your little face. Thank you, and I'll put my forehead to yours. Aww. Oh, so Aww. oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. So sweet. So cute. Love it. <laughs> Love it. So cute. Okay. <laughs> so you guys wolf ever. begin to make your way into yeah, the, yeah, the forest. So, yeah. Look, sorry, please. Did you? Well, I'm it? thinking like uh, I might, I might find a way off the path, but stay close yeah. to the path. Yeah, sure. So we're not like walking down the brick brick road, but we're like adjacent oh, to nothing it. Nothing jumps us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, like, I'll skirt us off to the side, so the the path is always in line of sight. Yeah. So we can kind of like follow it um, as we go, but it's we're using the trees and the cover and the path without a trace to like cool. cover our tracks. Um, go, go, go. And I'm super fast, so I'm kind of gonna. <laughs> 
Don't hold on. I'm, uh, on. I'm gonna kind of take off and go like scout a little. And okay. And okay. I'm gonna say it's pretty. Um, you you quickly with your sensibilities and um, it, you race into this this forest and you do notice it's it's strange. I mean, you haven't been in many forests, I guess, at no. all. But the kind of wood here kind. is very very different than the wood you are familiar with. Yeah. Um, it's it's this dark. It's it's not black, but so near to black, nearer to black than to brown, mm. the kind of the wood of these trees. And you do see there are a number of trees. But they are that, living. They are living, yeah. but some of them have fallen, uh, many of them have fallen, and um, from them have sprouted new trees. So you see that kind of like, this, this evidence of this like decay and this new life mm-hmm. and decay this new life kind of scattered around. Um, but you are able to find uh, a copse of trees that are especially sort of um, uh, circular in their placement and you're like, there's like a clearing where it looks like it might be comfortable enough and defensible enough to, to um, uh, bed down. So they maybe find that and then kind of head back towards the rest of the group and maybe try and in my wolfish way, relay that, or <laughs> in my wolfish way, with my wolfish wilds. In my wolfish wilds. Uh, Kulkin found a place for us to rest. Good. Well done, sir. All right, lead the way. Good boy. He's <laughs> walking next to this giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to a dire wolf. How love tall it. is a dire wolf again? That's uh, a horse. Oh, yeah, it's, right? yeah. I, it's a large. Are they large? large. They're, large. they're large. They're large. Yeah, they're yeah. large. I look the happiest you've ever seen me. Mm. <laughs> 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 I do. I whisper to to Kay, I'm like, well, she does like dogs. <laughs> Usually, that's, a green thing. That's a good, right? I would say so. That's yeah. normal. That's a positive. Yes. Yeah. Good sign. Good indicator. Good, good indicator. Yeah. Right. We'll chuck that up in the good column. There, <laughs> there is the. Um, I, I. You know what? I actually have a running tally going right now. Yes. Oh, we've got, yes. So we've got the the what presumed to be an intense uh, interrogation. Once again, always much that's better note taker. the bad <laughs> column. Once again, good uh, column. You, we have you've always been a much better note taker. Make right. sure to. At through our ship. Through oh through that's bad. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, I will also say, I don't know. There was something. <laughs> there was something suspicious about the way she investigated that crown. So that's bad. Mm. So, <laughs> but friendly. Well, do we have, a, do we have an, 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 an indifferent column? Uh, oh yes. Oh, put that in the sentence. Sometimes you know it smells good. big when you have it bad. Uh, in in the middle and then good uh, yeah. neutral column. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I will say um, when we are walking through the forest and we're trying to be quiet. Sorry, sorry. Um, talking. I'm also right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're, this, we're, we're whispering. Something. We're whispering. I, I'm not a very adept sneaker. I don't sneak. It's not dignified. <laughs> well, uh, that's why I'm up there. You must. You, you must let have them to know yeah. that your cane is. Dog shit is so they know. <laughs> so like, they know to be afraid. That's right. If they don't know you're coming, Strike they don't know the to be your, afraid. Your sound is cocooned somewhat by the magic mm. that Wilkes has, has put upon yeah, you. Yeah, it's working overtime. Yeah. Travels yeah. less far than it normally might. But like dogs, so that's that's exciting. It's actually pretty good. Mm. Pretty good. <laughs> um, <laughs> likes dogs. It's good to know. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I would love to watch this scene yeah. point out, <laughs> you all begin to bed down for the night. Uh, um, I cast Lehman's Tiny Hut. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. I'll Excellent. just sit down, and as I sit crisscross in the middle, I'll just go, here, let's make this a little bit more accommodating. And I will snap and shoot upward, and aligning with one of the stars in the sky, there's a little spark, and a translucent dome appears around us that shimmers ever so slightly opalescent when the moonlight hits it. Yeah. And I will yeah. I will revert yeah. back to Culkin mm. form um, with a just like a, a swirl of like um, of dust and, and sand. It's like a, a brown and black sand um, kind of whirling about me as I uh, morph back into Culkin and it kind of just uh, finds itself into the uh, totem. Mm. Very, very cool. Do you feel any different when you, is it, do you like shake it off? Um, yeah, no, real different, yeah. Mm. Is it fun? Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. I, yeah, mm. it's great. What else can you become? Lots. Oh. That's fun. <laughs> also, Andrea, bless you for being able to do this. I can't stand sleeping on the ground. <laughs> I'm literally on the ground. Like, yeah. 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 Uh, or, or I should say, like, yeah. You're like in a pile. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stand being dirty. I understand. I don't mind it. Yeah. I've, noticed, I've noticed, Master Wilkes. <laughs> <laughs> 
So as you all collect yourselves in, yeah. in some new company, some very old, yeah. uh, some yeah. some peculiar and, <laughs> and recently uh, powers recently realized, uh, uh, you are all um, taken with this this, this sort of um, malaise that has um, carried over this area that seems to have uh, dripped across this land, um, but not without the the sort of cheer that comes with having compatriots of uh mostly benign <laughs> capacity i guess let's say tbd uh, tbd <laughs> tbd i'm trying uh, uh yeah there is a there is a a, a, a calm to be with these people mm -hmm. um as you look toward a future of many unknowns and that is where we're gonna call it Woo! for this session Woo! let's fucking go uh, we oh live. my god. Thank you guys so much. You're beautiful. I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. 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 Thank you. oh, You're beautiful. Yay, you sir. Yeah. I love you guys are so awesome, dude. So pretty. Oh. Uh, 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 I don't, I've never done the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening. Well, we hope you had uh, listening and watching. God, yeah. I'm so, I'm old now. <laughs> I was here when it was just an audio yeah. show. Hey, on Zoom. Um, uh, 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 we hope you had as much fun watching as we had fun playing it. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, Bye. nerds. Bye. 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 Hey, nerds. Thanks for being here. Uh, if you want to support the show, you can do it in a number of ways. One of them is leaving us a nice review on whatever podcasting platform you are listening to or watching the show on. Uh, you can leave us some YouTube comments, participate in the conversation. Uh, you can join us on Discord and hang out with our amazing, amazing community, let me just say. Uh, or you can check us out on Patreon and give us a little more financial support. That is the most direct way to support the show. Uh, it goes a long way towards us keeping churning out episodes and content and new music and all of this good stuff so we really really appreciate that uh you can do all of the above of course um we see you so thanks so much for being here bye nerds <laughs>